Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. Why are you dressed like a hockey goalie in our living room? Well, you know how I said that we really needed to save more? So you're dressed like a goalie because you make saves? Yes. Maybe we should just go to Navy Federal Credit Union. They have tons of great savings and investment options, like share certificates with sky-high rates. Oh, what a save! <sighs> Grow your finances with the official military appreciation partner of the NHL, Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Savings products insured by NCUA. Investment products are not insured, not obligations of Navy Federal, and may lose value. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Injured? Just dial pound law. That's all. Morgan & Morgan, America, and now the universe's largest injury law. Law firm. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at FLJobsNow.com. New South Window Solutions. We manufacture, we install, we guarantee. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's the, the opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. You are now listening to The Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio 104.1. All right, guys, here we go on a Thursday edition of the Jim Colbert Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate that as we do every single day. And we do have a big old program for you today. We'll get you caught up on what's happening in the world. Deb will do that around 3.20 with Woke News. 4 o'clock, it's Date Night Done Right with our friend Danny Myring from Orlando Date Night Guide. We'll also talk to Glenn, uh, talk to Glenn Clausman this hour with Colbert Court. 5 o'clock, it's Trivia. 6 o'clock, we'll end it up with uh, Ross Thoughts and Last Call. Your calls, texts, and talkbacks all day long. Welcome to the program. I am Jim to my left. My lovely and very dangerous co-host, Ms. Deb Roberts. Hello there. Straight ahead producer, Jack Bradshaw. Good afternoon. Comedy alien, Ross Padgett. I think I misplaced my John Cena. Where is it? <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Find us easily on social media, Instagram and Facebook at The Jim Colbert Show. On Twitter, it's just at Jim Colbert Show. And, of course, all day, every day at JimColbertLive.com. That's where you can check us out on YouTube. Just click right through to our YouTube channel. Watch us talk and sit and laugh and cry <laughs> and rag on each other. It's fun. While you're there, give us a, su a subscribe and a like. That'd be wonderful. How's it going today, guys? Good? Yes. I mean, look at the weather. Yeah, yeah it's pretty nice. Oh, a little what warm a beautiful there. day. Pretty nice little, for a Tuesday. A little warm. Don't say that. I have the worst time ever with weather as it is, or time as it is. I don't need you telling me it's Tuesday. I literally looked at Deborah before we came on there and said, it's Thursday, right? I, I, it's Thursday, right? So I do that so often. I'll always say what day it is. I, I'm never asking the date. I'm always right. asking what day it is. Right. right. And I even brought it up. I had my my annual physical, and I was like, oh, oh yeah. my my uh -huh. memory. I'm, I'm getting a little concerned. I go, I'm always asking what day it is. I am too, man. I, I you know, there's no question. My memory is taking a hit. I don't know what's going on. Um, it's probably from the hits. <laughs> it could be from the hits. Who knows? All right, four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. So something is happening. And I would you let me ask and, and please be honest. Do you guys think that I am a malleable person when it comes to no. opi opinions <laughs> and and ways of life? Do you think that I am capable of changing and morphing to maybe like something that I didn't think I liked before? Deb? Hell no. <laughs> you, guys, you, guys don't, you guys don't find that in me at all? I mean, and I'm asking you, oh, you can be honest. A because, little bit, yeah. No, right. I, 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 I think you do. I think it. I'm I, willing to roll with the punches a little bit. Uh, if I learn uh, a lesson, I can change my ways. I you guys believe that or not? I think you might be the least likely out of the four of us. I, well, there's, well, I don't know about that. Oh, but, yeah, come on. But, <laughs> but I, I, think I just it, said I didn't know about that. Right, right, right. I didn't say everybody else didn't know about it. I just said I didn't know about it. But I, I think you have proven it. I think you have changed and evolved. And, and, and Evolved and, is a bad word there, Jack. Okay? <laughs> evolved is a bad word. We all evolved. <laughs> yeah, we all yeah evolved. but the way you used it seemed malicious. I'm going to be 
be honest. Yeah, you're no longer polite. <laughs> I don't know. For me, I would need more context. Okay, uh, to see that, if you're that, that's more perfect. more or less malleable. Perfect. If you're what, willing to change. What is the one thing from the onset of this show that I said that I do not care for? Fart noises. I don't like fart noises, but that's not it. <laughs> um, it's a thing. It's a thing, and I, I have definitely said I am not this kind of person. I am not this person. I like these instead. Christmas lights. No, that's yeah. fair, oh, though. Uh, oh, 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 you like whites instead. Oh. <laughs> no, that has nothing to do with it. Oh. <laughs> he didn't say. He no, didn't say. Uh, <laughs> I don't have to defend myself against that. That is not the truth. Everybody knows. Yeah, what, uh, Blake Griffin. That was uh, yeah, it's a joke. I'm saying, <laughs> what do you think? It's a thing. I've said it. Like, everybody knows this about me. And because the I one know thing, it, I can't say anything. The one thing I don't like, I've said on the air over and over, I do like these. Right? You have a choice. I do like these, but I'm not a big fan of these. I mean, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, M&Ms. That's, that's the whole, that's the blurb right. for the show. Right. I don't <laughs> like cats. I like these. I don't like these. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, I don't like cats. I've oh, said true. from the onset, I'm not a cat guy. I'm not a cat person. I've never been a cat person. Right. Every dog person says that until they get a cat. Right. Okay. So and I'm guilty. <laughs> I'm guilty right. of that too. Right. So I, yeah. I may be joining the crowd. What? Yeah. Here's what's happening right now. Oh my. Here's what's happening right now. And there is a, there is an asterisk. To this, I will tell you. Big old asterisk. So my daughter said this yesterday, or I uh, was talking about this on Monday, I believe, or Tuesday, that she was going to Ecuador for uh, 14 days. Why, Yeah, yeah. She left this morning to oh, cool. fly to Ecuador. Well, last night, she dropped by uh, with her boyfriend and brought over a cat that she was cat-sitting that we are now <laughs> cat-sitting. So we're sub cat sitting. Hey, sitting, but I'm going to go. Uh, I'm, I'm sub- sub- vacation. Vacation. Exactly. I'm sub cat sitting. And I'm going to leave it with someone who has repeatedly for years said how much he hates cats. Yeah, but my wife loves them. And she wisely knew that. And we have a we have a we have an uh, our house is enough rooms that we found a room that the cat can stay in. And the cat is not in the general uh, general public of my house. Right? General I got a, population of I, the jailhouse I, culvert. I, I, Gen pop. I have two dogs. Gen pop. I got the one little one that has no no threat. Then my son's dog is a threat. Yeah. Uh, and he's a big dumb uh, idiot. Just a heads up. This is something that you just said. My house is big enough that we decided to give the cat its own room. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. I said I we. I ha- believe those were the words. What I'm saying is, I didn't want to encounter the cat, and I didn't want the cat to come into any. Especially uh, your son's dog. Issues, because yeah. my dog, my boy has like a 55 or 60 pound like American Staffordshire dog, and it, it's a sweet dog, but you know. That's those, still prey. Those things love to chase and kill, so we didn't want to have to deal with that, so the cat has its own room. Well, they took my little dog, the one that we love, Sadie, and we they took, uh, my daughter, my wife took her into the room to meet the cat. Oh, boy. Well, I thought that it was going to be one of those, you know, oil kind of water things. Well, guess what? My dog loves, beyond loves, this cat. And this cat is a fat, like a fat tabby, like hey, alley hey, cat. Hey, I've got one of those. It's a hog, <laughs> and it's very slow. But my dog got racked up by this thing, like in, in, within 30 <laughs> seconds. My dog went over, sniffed it. Cat went, Ka-ka-ka! like three times. Dog yelped, went over, hit by mom, and then crept back out and got it again. Still loves it. But the interaction between my dog and this cat has become, like, kind of addictive. So now... You know it's kitten season. I mean, we, we Kathy Burns and Sally Edmonds, when they visited from the Pet Alliance of uh, Greater Orlando last month, said, you know, they said this is puppy and especially kitten season. You get Sadie a little kitten and they grow up together. So that's what I've heard, that if you do this, you got to get one young so that they... You know, that the cat grows up. Because this cat is not having it with my dog. Well, my, no, because this your cat dog is, is a dog. This cat is a, that old aunt that just wears a house coat and smokes in the backyard <laughs> yeah, yeah, while drinking yeah, yeah. gin. I'm sitting right here. <laughs> right? That's that cat. That cat is not having it. That cat's like an old Hollywood star that doesn't want to talk to anybody anymore. And it just uh, just sits there in the corner of a closet and stares out angry. And uh, my dog is not that. My dog is like a four-year-old on its first trip to Disney everywhere. <laughs> That's, uh, I don't know. Like I'm happy that you have what you know proving that you are definitely a man of change. Yes, that you are capable of a U-turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if you are ready for that look. Why? What do you mean that look? The cat look? No, being bald with a cat is a different <laughs> <Yeah>. thing. 
<laughs> Dr. <laughs> Evil. Oh. It's Dr. Evil. It's yeah. Blofeld, right? I promise I'll never put my pinky to my mouth. A pinky, and then, you know, like, you just got to make sure. If you have a cat, you cannot do the blanket over the lap. What do you mean? Because, like, there's one time I remember you talked about this is that, uh, you know, it was cold out. I, I do. I put when the you do crosswords, you I put, put a blanket bl- over your lap, and then you've got a miner's lamp <laughs> on your forehead. As a friend, dude, I just have to prevent the last terminal sickness infinity stone of owning a cat. I look like a guy that sits in a wheelchair where the big wheels are up front. <laughs> I'm not saying, like, cat. I'm not coming at cat owners. I think cats are cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Cats are fine. I've kicked it with some cats. All right. I, kittens are... Un- I think a kitten might... I mean, the, most equal- inter- the cheapest entertainment on planet Earth. It's... Super entertaining, yeah. and I, for me, equally as cute as puppies, and I love puppies. I think kittens and puppies, maybe even kittens on a day, I might even lean that way. Right, right. But you can't, I don't know, I just worry about worry about that image. Yeah. Because well, I, I just yeah. like, you know, Thanksgiving, you got well, the blanket, crossword. Well, I'm not going to be pushing this thing around winter park in a baby stroller as it's dressed up like a minion. Oh, yes, like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to be doing oh, that. What if we what if we dress it up for you? Would <laughs> you just push the stroller? This is primarily for my wife, but I have, I have oh, uh, oh, as the okay. dictator of my house, okay. I, have, I have blocked the ownership of cats. <laughs> I, I, I put out a decree, no cats in the house. <laughs> uh, but I may have to bend on that because uh, it was kind of, it was kind of how my dog interacted with this cat we have you got to get kitten though yeah i would get a kitten yeah and i, I want to i would want a main coon but the problem is i heard that the upkeep on a main coon is like the worst the worst like well, they shed and their their hair gets everywhere and it's super fine like a vacuum won't pick it up you're you gonna have to wanna, roll it you're gonna want a cat that's gonna be kind of equal in size to sadie when they're full grown and a main coon cat is oh yeah they're gonna be as giant. big as some dogs yes. so because our third cat and the youngest cat lucky uh is part main coon so it's bigger so bigger than my established cats, and that size really. Means what Lucky wants to play, the other I have one. He'll just like stay out, and the other one, the youngest one, they wrestle all the time because you know Lucky's big, and yeah. So kind of gets gets its way, and Jeter stays. The dog stays clear of all three of us. <laughs> <laughs> he just not having it. Huh? All he goes is from spot to spot in the house looking for new spots on the floor to pee. Right, right. Places he hasn't ruined yet. I love it. All right. Well, I'll give you an update, let you know what's going on. We're going through a move now. It's probably not going to happen now, but okay. in a couple months, within a couple months, we could be cat people. We will let Kathy oh. know because okay. Jack, does, Jack, does it have to be a rescue? Does it have to be? Well, listen, I don't know why. <laughs> who says that live on air? I know. <laughs> Who's, who leans into that? The guy with a house to, for a, a, the next room for the uh, cat. Can I not get a cool cat like a like a feel good? Can yeah, I not? Yeah. Can I not get one just like you know get one? Like you here's let me ask. Can you get like a Maine Coon there? Yeah, you just let them know what breed you're looking for. Really? Yeah. Did not know that. Oh, Did not man. Know that. Yeah, people, I will take that bet. People surrender everything from breed, you know, those nope. fancy pets to mm-hmm. the cats they find in park. No, if we get one, we're, de- we're definitely going to rescue, no question. I mean, there's no question. Yeah. Here's the thing. There's so many that you can't not find one you like. Right. So Cor- it's good. Correct. And all three of ours and uh, our rescues, and they're fantastic. However... Uh, and easier to maintain, uh, take care of than a dog. You know, you do have to deal with the litter box, but outside of that, they no, are yeah. easy. Nothing. Not only that, the price for like their toys and something is like a quarter of what a dog. But don't toy they destroy is. everything in your house? Isn't that a problem? Like they scratch your furniture into oblivion. Not everything, but they'll find those certain things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and well. that will become part of their. Toy world. And yeah. That's yeah, maybe yeah, just the yeah. room you put them in. Do not declaw them though, because oh. once you hear what they have to do to declaw, yeah, I'm not interested in that. I mean, I, I, I want, I want, to, I want it to cause over an animal. I, I want it to cause pain to the dog. Yeah, but <laughs> I think you need to pump the brakes here. You've also announced that you're selling your home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're in the process of moving. Yes, yes. We're going to wait until we're established into a new place before we introduce I, another life into the family. Just said that. Just said okay. that. We're not even not going to do this. Is a couple months away at okay. very best. Okay. So. Listen okay. to Jack. You will be a responsible cat owner. <laughs> will I? Because yeah. Cause, will I? Yeah, Can you not be? As long as you feed them, they come back, right? <sighs> but that's the truth. I mean, aren't they? Aren't they like that? Like if you feed a cat, it pretty it, much will yeah. not go away, will it? But last night it was like uh, ready to go to bed. I'm like. 
Oh, those friggin' litter. I gotta do it. Oh, I man. I gotta do the no, litter boxes thank right you, now. Buddy. Yeah, no, yeah, thank yeah. you. Well, oh, you're oh, saying hey, yes, what are we thank thinking? you. <laughs> yeah, Tori's yeah, gonna yeah, do it all? Yeah, yeah. Or well, you're gonna, gonna have one of those automatic ones. Six, seven hundred bucks. Uh, be yeah. careful, because <laughs> not every cat likes those. Really? Yeah, cats oh, are yeah. very particular about that. You're gonna, you yeah. could spend, and then a lot of times, texting service weighed in and said that drum can sometimes still... Mm-hmm. Smush things down up in there. Really? Can't yeah, sharper really. image your way out of that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't sky them all your way out of cat turds, Jim. I'm going to give it a shot, big dog. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Deb, got some news? Yeah, President Biden set to deliver his State of the Union. State lawmakers have passed a social media restrictions bill. <laughs> and a woman loses a disability case after being pictured winning... A Christmas tree throwing contest. (laughs) (laughs) These are some of my favorite stories, by the way. When people try to defraud insurance because of disability and they get busted, like doing a triangle, like (laughs) water skiing thing, like like something you'd see in Cypress Gardens back in the day. It's just me and a couple of my cousins building a triangle on water skis. No big deal. No biggie. But we'll talk about that and more coming up next during Woke News. You got it. 407-916-1041. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show and Deb's News right after this. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. Heading westbound on I-4, there's bumper-to-bumper traffic before U.S. 192 and approaching U.S. 27 due to an accident. The left shoulder is blocked. Traveling eastbound on I-4, you can expect your regular delays between Osceola Parkway and State Road 535. No major problems on Florida's Turnpike this afternoon. Traffic is up to speed on the Greenway. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by the new Banana Boat 360 coverage. This sun season, Banana Boat is giving you a new way to spray. Introducing new Banana Boat 360 coverage. Better control for better coverage with a reusable sprayer and refill. From sport formula to kids SPF 50 plus. Shop Banana Boat 360 coverage on Amazon. Make the most of your spring break. Visit the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. This is the only place where you can meet an astronaut, touch a moon rock, stand nose to nose with a real space shuttle Atlantis, and much more. Launching a bold new territory this spring at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. A down-to-earth price is ready for you as well. Blast off this spring. Make your vacation at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex an out-of-this-world experience. Take advantage of this new two-day ticket offer, costing less than $45 a day, offering maximum flexibility for the entire family. It's easy. Get your tickets today. Visit KennedySpaceCenter.com for tickets and more information. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at FLJobsNow.com. Daytona Bike Week is back March 1st through the 10th, and there's no better place to celebrate than at the iconic Daytona International Speedway. Home to the area's largest motorcycle marketplace with top manufacturer displays, top-of-the-line gear, custom bikes, and more. Plus, free test rides on Progressive Demo Road and all the excitement of Harley-Davidson Thunder Alley. It all culminates Saturday, March 9th with America's most historic motorcycle race, the Daytona 200. Don't miss out. Daytona International Speedway is the place to celebrate Bike Week. A fifth, third, better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. I had a radio listener call call me after an accident. The insurance company offered him $700. He hired me that day and we recovered $100,000. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. Potential clients may not obtain same or similar results. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been a 
established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-374-2103. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-374-2103 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. Friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to twenty. Twelve hundred and seventy-five dollars on a brand new carrier unit. If you're gonna go with the experts, you gotta go with Carrier, and you gotta go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you gotta make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on MillsAir.com. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance and luxury as we roll out the red carpet for the world's two largest bridal designers. Next weekend, March 15th through 17th, Takori and Viraggio will be here with their entire collections. Exceptional handcrafted rings made with intricate detail and craftsmanship. See the entire collection from Takori. Exquisite handcrafted rings from true artisans in California. And here from New York, see all the latest from Viraggio. Unique, distinctive, and personalized. Find the ring of your dreams and enjoy two years zero interest financing. Plus, at this event, when you buy any Takori or Viraggio ring, IDC will give you a $500 gift card. Buy the matching wedding band and get a $1,000 gift card. Don't miss this spectacular event featuring the most exclusive designers in bridal. And let IDC's experts help you match up the most perfect diamond for the ring you'll fall in love with. It's happening next weekend, March 15th through 17th, exclusively at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations on approved credit. iHeart Podcast Update. This week on your free iHeart Radio app. Math and Magic. Stories from the frontiers of marketing with Bob Pittman, Season 6. Join iHeart Media Chairman and CEO as he analyzes the math and magic of marketing, sitting down with today's most gifted disruptors. Marketing School, digital marketing and online marketing tips. Actionable digital marketing lessons learned through years of being in the trenches. Office Hours with Mike Stive. Mike sits down with the world's most important chief executives to answer your most pressing questions about leadership, career, and life. Hear these podcasts and more on your free iHeart Radio app or wherever you get your podcasts. For all your windows and doors, go to FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. You know you can always text us. Unless you're driving. At 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and Orange Buick GMC.com. We are professional grade. There's only one place to watch this nonsense. At Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. I just tuned in, so I'm not sure what I'm talking about, but I'm so excited that you might be getting a cat, Jim. I have four. <laughs> You're going to plug the cat. And the only thing you have to do is scoop the box every day. If you, you've got to. If you don't, if you let it go, then it gets nasty. But if you scoop it every day, it's no big deal. 
Five Have minutes. Fun. I love that. Five minutes. That's all it takes. She's no chance. She, she's got four. She's got four of them. She seems so excited. I, I got three. No lie. The the bag of waste. I put a, a shopping bag. The bag of waste I carried to the garbage last night outside was over 20 pounds. Hefty, hefty, hefty. And that's with clumping cat litter, which uh, when they, so they pee in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They pee in there. Then it clumps it. So it makes it like a ball of cat litter. Right. But that's all the pee. Oh, gotcha. Which helps the rest not smell as much once you remove it. Got it, got it. Yeah. And these can, they cannot be taught to go outside and just go out in the, like, like oh, a dog. A cat can be taught to use the toilet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And flush. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or, or you can have a doggy door to like a Florida room and keep it out. Uh, yeah, keep gotcha. the box okay. out there. Right, very good. Yeah. Right. yeah, do the Florida room not outside because cats get killed and Cats kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Jack and Ross are here as well. Let's get some news. Here's Deb. And now it's time for woke news. It seems like kind of a misuse of the whole world. On the Jim Colbert Show. All right. Woke news brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. Give him a listen Saturday morning when he's host of the Home Loans Radio Show. President Biden is expected to spotlight his administration's work on infrastructure during his State of the Union address tonight. Other policies that are anticipated to be pushed, including those that could pick up support from both sides of the aisle, like helping veterans, fighting cancer, setting up a humanitarian port in Gaza. Meanwhile, a new White House video shows uh, President Biden getting advice for his uh, speech from actors who have played the president. The group of actors on the video call with Biden include Michael Douglas, Gina Davis, uh, Bill Pullman, Tony Goldwyn, and Morgan Freeman. But no Martin Sheen? No. Freeman, who played the president in the 1998 film Deep Impact, said regarding his character's speech, quote, hope is the strongest force we have in this country, Mm. end quote. All right. Some teenagers in Florida may wind up banned from using their favorite social media apps. Oh, I bet parents are enjoying the meltdown that's coming right about now. Uh, And that's because state lawmakers yesterday approved a bill banning anyone 13 and under from accessing certain sites. Kids 14 and 15 could do so with their parents' permission. The bill doesn't mention any sites or apps by name. Part of the bill also affects adults, though. Really? What do you got? It calls for everyone who uses an adult site to confirm they're at least 18 by scanning their face <gasps> or providing ID. Wow, really? Yes, that kind of snuck in under the radar. Wow, really? Yep. Hold up now. Pornhub, Red Door, Brazzers. Get ready, y'all. Adult who uses an adult what about site videos? would have to confirm they're at least 18 by scanning your face. Or providing ID. The bill now goes to the governor's desk. There is no more debate. The legislative session ends tomorrow. In other news, DVD porn sales have skyrocketed. (laughs) Yeah, right. No joke. Now that Florida bill designed to keep children off social media and naughty, naughty adults off adult sites is getting some pushback as it heads to the governor's desk. Tech industry group NetChoice sent a letter to Governor Ron DeSantis asking him to veto the measure. NetChoice says, listen, courts have blocked similar laws in uh, several other states. So, you know, save yourself the time and the taxpayer money. However, DeSantis is expected to sign the legislation into law. This happens all the time. It's going to get challenged immediately and they're going to lose. It just happened here recently again. They're going to challenge it and it's going to lose, costing us thousands and millions Millions of dollars. dollars. Millions of dollars. All right. Uh, With Florida's presidential preference primary less than two weeks away, today is an important election deadline. Today at 5 p.m. So you got a little over an hour and a half if you haven't done that yet. Today at 5 p.m. is the deadline to request a vote by mail ballot. Ballots must be returned by 7 p.m. on election night, night. Not just postmarked. They actually have to be in the hands of elections officials on election night, which is March 19th. Florida has closed primaries, which means if you want to vote in the Republican primary, you must be registered as a Republican Mm -hmm. like her own Jim Colbert. Mm -hmm. Uh, President Biden, the only candidate on the Democratic ballot. So there is no Democratic primary. Um, Gabby Petito's father is celebrating what he calls a significant milestone in the fight against domestic violence. Okay. Uh, Joe Petito was talking yesterday about a domestic violence bill that unanimously passed the Florida legislature. It requires law enforcement officers to assess the risk a domestic violence victim faces by asking 12 questions. 
After questioning, the victim could be directed to a certified domestic violence shelter. The questionnaire is part of what's called lethality assessment training that's already being used in 32 states. Uh, the bill now heads to the governor's desk for his signature. Of course, Petito lost his daughter, Gabby, as we remember, to domestic violence three years ago. Yep. He tells News Channel 8 he's thrilled to see the bill pass, and it brings hope and protection to survivors, ensuring their safety and well-being. Have you guys ever seen, like, the receipts of women who've used ordering pizza yeah, as only, a way? Only once. Yeah. like As a way to warn somebody that they're being kept or abused? Actually, as a way of, of asking for help, help to be yeah. sent. So, like, in the toppings, there was one sp- story of a woman whose boyfriend took her phone, and she convinced him to give her phone back so she could order a pizza for all of them and the kids. And in the toppings wrote, please send 911. You know, because you can add on what you want to do. Like you can, right. you can choose their toppings or, or put other, and you can write in there. Oh, clever, clever, Isn't that clever! clever? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, Orlando leaders are considering expanding a gun violence prevention program. This is a this is a good news story. All right, a new study found that since the community violence intervention initiative began in 2022, firearm related homicides have gone down by 20 percent. Uh, in designated neighborhoods, the service is currently only available in the Carver Shores, Holden Heights, mm-hmm. Rosemont, Mercy Drive, and Paramore areas, quiet suburban areas. Yeah, yeah, nothing going on there. The city says the lower crime rate has saved taxpayers. How much do you think that that 20% drop has saved taxpayers? Oh, just as this is the city of Orlando, just the city of Orlando. I'll go 100 grand. Okay, Jack mm. or Ross, who would like to go next? Is it 20% drop. I don't know what the original number was. I'll go uh I'll go 355,000. Oh my, I'll shoot it and I will go or I won't. I don't know, Deb's looking at me weird. That's just her look. Oh, okay, 150,000 then. <laughs> How about 9 million? Oh god. Ross <laughs> nailed it. Nine, <laughs> Nine million dollars. God damn, really? Officials ah, are ah, looking. Thanks, Jack. I appreciate that. I, 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 oh, you always have to have the special yeah. sauce. Officials are looking into growing the program to include Lake Man, Richmond Heights, and Signal Hill. There you go. Okay, also, uh, turns out big events are bringing in big bucks for Orange County. County Comptroller Phil Diamond, my former neighbor, mm-hmm. released January's tourism tax revenue numbers yesterday. And collections this January were up 5% from last January. That uh, translates to almost $1.5 million more. And Diamond says he credits events like college football bowl games, the U.S. Olympic marathon trials, yeah. and the NFL Pro Bowl games. He says this January was an especially busy month for Metro Orlando tourism. There is a downside, though. Diamond says on a fiscal year-to-year basis, collections are down about 2.5% or just over $3 million. Yep. Uh, scary. I don't know what is going on with... Uh, planes in america but we're hearing these stories just way too often for my comfort i would agree with that uh united airlines confirms a flight from houston to fort myers had flames shooting from the engine before it turned around for an emergency landing one passenger on this flight said about an hour after they took off they heard this or shortly after they took off they heard a bang and then saw flames shooting out of the engine People were screaming. He was texting his family saying, I love you. A video on uh, st- shared on Storyful shows the flames as a crew member acknowledged the situation over the plane's loudspeaker. That has to suck the most because <laughs> what do you say? I know Ladies that, and gentlemen, is, this... we do recognize that there are currently flames no, I blasting would, I, out of the engine. I would actually be more like this. Everybody, sun's pretty bright on the right side of the plane. We want to shut that shade down. <laughs> I got to want, want to pull that shade down, everybody. On three now. Mm-hmm. Ignore Nothing the to heat. laugh at, except that they landed safely. And I would love it if the, if the if the one flight attendant with a great sense of humor humor comes running from the back with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Quick, open the doors. How, I, real fast, though, well, what was this airline? This is United. 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 And then there's been a lot about Delta. And I just, all of these news stories haven't hit Spirit, haven't hit Frontier. Well, to my knowledge, in the last like couple of months, I keep hearing all the main airliners. And that's the difference. It's not necessarily the airline. It's the plane that they're yeah. flying. And from what I've heard, this is the same model as the one that the door plug fell off of. The, this is the jumbo or whatever? The, the uh, Max? Yeah, the, the, the Max. Yeah, the Max 7, I believe, was the size of the jet, which has continued 
the, Boeing is facing probably the biggest issues and problems Boeing has right. faced in over a decade. You have federal transportation officials saying, this is ridiculous. We've asked for two months for documentation on this door plug incident, and Boeing still right. hasn't handed the information over. Yeah, you don't want to be known for that. I mean, you, 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 no. don't, you can be known for, hey, the paint jobs aren't so good. Right. You don't want to be known as, uh, you know, engines on fire. So the user who posted the video, Dorian Serta, said they were about 15 minutes into the flight when the incident happened. A United yeah. Airlines statement says, quote, passengers deplaned normally, end quote, and another aircraft took them to Florida later. Yeah, yeah. All right. Another uh, page from my personal nightmares is with the help of surveillance cameras and witness accounts, National Institute of Standards and Technology investigators have pieced together about a five minute timeline before, during and after the 2021 collapse of Surfside's Champlain Tower South. If you remember, the pool deck fell on the parking garage first and from inside the building at 1:22:14 14 a.m., a rapid intensification of roaring sounds began. A second later, the video cuts out. Researchers are going to spend the next months chasing down whether the initiating issue was in the deck or in the tower. Jimmy, you and I were talking about that it's long been uh, believed that a leak in the pool is what corroded the structure in the parking garage because the pool was built over right. the parking garage structure. And then I heard that reiterated again when this came out that uh, they, they, they thought that the evidence showed pretty pretty soundly that there was a leak in the pool and the pool caused the corrosion of the iron support beams, which then collapsed under the weight. And if you remember, the uh, final report isn't expected until June of 2025. Wow. The hope is the recommendations will help prevent another tragedy because that collapse killed 98 people. Also in South Florida, a chapter is coming to an end at a historic South Florida landmark. After 70 years on Key Biscayne, Miami-Dade County is evicting the Miami Seaquarium. That's crazy. When Ending you said that earlier, lease. when you said that earlier, I actually thought it was. I thought you misspoke. No. Ending its lease and adding they need to clear out the property by April 21st. Wow. Someone had texted us at seven seven zero three one when we had talked about the push to get Miami Seaquarium closed. He said, even in the 80s, this place was a dump. Oh, I see. So it's it, it, this is one of those like, okay, I got you. Yeah. Now, in the memo, the county cites, quote, numerous and significant violations, end quote. Uh, the story we covered was the fact that their one and only veterinarian right. had just resigned and left, and she was in charge with everything of dolphins to shorebirds right, to yeah. everything in between animal rights activists have tried to close the facility over the last several months following the deaths of lolita the orca and sundance the dolphin this aquarium has also faced federal scrutiny after the government accused it of providing inadequate care in all at least 120 dolphins and whales have died in captivity at the aging sequarium. Damn. Ooh. All right. Uh, I'm bringing you this next story. We've talked about spring break and how law enforcement across the state is cracking down. This one is interesting because this is the first time I've heard of this drug combined in this way. Okay. As spring break begins, Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood, who busted a DUI driver himself the other day, <laughs> says his deputies will be trying to keep partiers safe. Okay. Chitwood really says, parents, you just need to be more involved in keeping your kids from making bad choices. And he says his deputies won't tolerate too much chaos. Chitwood also says vapes laced with fentanyl is becoming increasingly common. Vapes with fentanyl. I don't get it. He says he'll have plenty of undercover deputies patrolling the world's most famous beach, Daytona Beach, and all deputies will be carrying Narcan. Good Lord. I haven't heard that one yet. I, I have, haven't I, either. I've yet, uh, yet to hear the fentanyl vape that's, machine. Yet. That's why I thought, well, I've got to bring, I got to talk about that because we haven't been, we haven't heard about that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks, all, Mike. <laughs> also in Daytona, the Daytona 200 is underway in Volusia County. Qualifying races for the 82nd annual motorcycle competition will take place at the Daytona International Speedway starting this afternoon. More than 30 motorcycle riders will compete in the main event on Saturday afternoon where they'll go head-to-head -head in a 200-mile race. Tickets still available through DaytonaInternationalSpeedway.com. I have always had a dream of riding motorcycles where your knee almost is on oh, the yeah. ground. Yeah, that titanium pad oh, on your knee. Oh, yeah. 82nd. 82nd. That's 1942. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? And if that's not that's enough. That's World War II. Well, yeah, that, I I've did been not realize this race since World yeah, War II. I did not realize those races at Daytona <laughs> yeah. were that old. You know, the stock car ones are. Yeah. they still have video. Yeah, pre-track. Yeah, pre-track. Yeah, did beach. it on the beach. Yeah. 
Uh, but maybe you're a Formula One fan instead. A lot of people are, man. It is uh, blowing up. Formula One racing is going crazy right now. That's my favorite form of racing. Yeah. I love it. Uh, it's race week in St. Petersburg. The Firestone Grand Prix is set for Sunday, and festivities got underway today with the Grand Prix flag raising at City Hall. St. Pete Police Chief Anthony Holloway says he's going to have a full staff of officers in uniform and uh, undercover working the entire event and monitoring the venue by land, water, and air. Holloway expects up to how many race fans to visit downtown St. Petersburg this weekend, guys? How many people are you think going to check that I'll out? I'll go 150,000. Give yourself a dong, my friend. Woo! Right right on the money, honey. Let me hear it. Oh. I, 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 you can get more info at stpete.org. And then finally, <laughs> say a little prayer. Pour a little on the ground. A woman in Ireland lost a more than $800,000 in an injury lawsuit stemming from a car crash after photos showed her launching a Christmas tree <laughs> during a post-holiday competition and winning the event. Oh, yeah, man. 36-year-old Camilla Grabska. Sued an insurance agency in the in the country uh, after a 2017 car crash she claimed caused her debilitating neck and back pain that prevented her from holding down a job for five years or even picking up her two young children. Wow. Uh, newspaper reports, however, uh, soon surfaced of Grabska competing in a Christmas tree throwing event in 2018, nearly a year after the accident supposedly left her with disab uh, disabling pain. The Irish High Court reviewed a photo of her launching a tree, which the judge described as, quote, a very graphic picture, <laughs> end quote. The competition involved people throwing roughly five-foot spruce trees as far as they could, and she won. Yeah. yeah. The, the court also reportedly reviewed video recorded last year of her playing with a Dalmatian in a dog park for more than an hour. The judge ruled to dismiss the case following the review. Oh. Of photos and video. On the positive side, she seems to have a fun life. Yeah, she does. <laughs> right. She's very active, Jack. At least it, it, did, it didn't take that away from her, did it? An hour playing yeah. with the dog, it, throwing uh, trees. Like I had a friend who got seriously injured after working at one of our area's large theme parks and for years would tell me stories of how he was being tailed, um, sometimes openly, sometimes surreptitiously, always being filmed, always being photographed because the second they see you not having to deal with this injury you saying you're having to deal with. Yeah. There goes your workers' comp. There goes everything. Do you guys remember the story about my my shop being broken into and my computer being stolen? And then the insurance adjuster coming to my shop with a ruler measuring the <gasps> the space between the bars and the door. And he looks at me right as he's doing it and he goes, If your computer is gonna fit if your computer fits through this door, you have a problem. Insinuating that I stole it myself to get the insurance money. Oh. So I, you know, that it started off con in a contentious manner, right? We proved that I didn't do it, and then as we're on the way back from the computer store, because we drove there to measure it, right, right, right. On the way back, uh, we we're talking about this. I said, "Is this what you do all the time?" He goes, "Yeah." And I said, "You find people who are cheating on their insurance, and you stalk them and like kind of bust them." He go and I said, "He goes, yeah." I said, "What is that like?" He goes, "It's amazing." He goes, it's really, really amazing finding people who are lying for the sake of stealing money from us. And then busting them, doing stupid stuff. He goes, sometimes it'll take two or three days. Sometimes it'll take two or three years, years to catch them slipping. That's always dependent on how much money they got. Yep. Every single time he goes, if somebody got like 10 grand in three days, you're going to pass, you're going to bust them doing something stupid because they don't think it's worthy of hiding. But if somebody gets like six, seven million, they have to live that life. And eventually they're going to screw up. And he told me that story. He followed somebody for 28 months, 28 months trying to bust them and they never busted them. Well, now you know. Be careful with yeah, yeah. the contest that you enter. <laughs> and now you all are officially woke. Thanks, Seth. 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio it is. The Monsters in the Morning. What is everybody on that this is the look? What do you mean? Like, like the scrunchies around like their legs? Like big old hair scrunchies, mom <laughs> jeans. It's like just bad. Man, you don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, man. Yeah, what's wrong with I'm you? I'm getting all horny just thinking about it. Okay. Uh, you're you're you listening to The Monsters in the Morning. The Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. 
Sunny Central Florida and Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Thursday. And we're expecting a gorgeous day. Make plans to be outside if you don't have them already. We'll plan for an afternoon high of 81 degrees of the mix of sunshine and clouds. As we head to our Friday, we'll expect a few more clouds overhead. Temperatures will stay in the low to mid 80s by this weekend for Saturday. Breezy, a high of 89 degrees with evening shower and storm chances. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist. Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Amtrak. Visit new and exciting places across the U.S. on Amtrak. It isn't just about the destination, it's about the journey. Without busy airports or cramped car rides, with no middle seats, extra legroom, and first class private rooms, new adventures are just an Amtrak away. Book now at Amtrak.com. Hey, let's get you to that new bathroom. Rebath Mid Florida is ready to help you out if you've had your home for years and you've done everything to it. You love everything about it, except that guest bathroom has always been a thorn in your side. You know, come time for the holidays, it's hard to have people over because you're embarrassed by that bathroom. Get that thing out of there and let Rebath help you do it with these beautiful products and incredible installation and wonderful customer service. This is a mo- this is a dad and son business. These guys have been doing it for ten plus years in Central Florida, giving people bathrooms they. Love Love for a long time not to mention they do it very quickly four to six days is the normal installation time they do it with their employees no subcontractors and at the end they give you a lifetime guarantee on the products and the install and a little secret here if you're worried about their integrity don't tons of five-star reviews and the big blocks the big box stores the blue and the orange Rebath installs their bathrooms for them, so you can trust these guys. They got everything you need. Showrooms easy to find. 436 up and out. about right across from Kobe. Slide in, check out the models. Have these guys build you a bathroom you're going to love, and then have it installed. It's Rebath, midfla.com. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on MillsAir.com. Life is too short short to let allergy and sinus issues hold you back. At Aspire Allergy and Sinus, we understand the impact these challenges can have on your life. Imagine a life free from constant sneezing, itchy eyes, and sinus headaches. Our expert team provides comprehensive allergy testing and personalized treatment plans, ensuring your specific needs are addressed. Simple relief, better life. At Aspire Allergy and Sinus, visit AspireAllergy.com to schedule an appointment. AspireAllergy.com and tackle your allergies head on. At May Mayo Clinic in Florida, we're conquering the unconquerable. Using artificial intelligence and data, our experts can create a personalized gene roadmap just for you, customizing your cancer treatment, giving your body exactly what it needs to fight the disease. We're making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh Uh-huh, add some ice to chill it down. And some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone-cold classic. Start your day with a $1.49 McCafe Ice Coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.79. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with delicious small fries for only $3.69. Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. 
Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like The Vinyl Experience. Just search Vinyl Experience and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. You can watch radio being made on a daily basis at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Hey, nothing like a great big hairball coughed up in the middle of the floor and you walk and step in it. It feels like a warm turd between your toes. Forget it! <laughs> the fact that he has a he has an experience like that to compare it to is my favorite part of that story. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And Jack. Oh. And Ross That's as true. well. So we had our very first uh, final destination death of the year uh, that, that I saw. That you saw? Well, not saw. I mean, All that right. I saw in the news. You know, I, I haven't seen one that's quite like this. Um, so it was a 19-year-old kid. He was, um, I believe he was riding his bicycle. Make sure I got this right here. Um, and do you guys remember the explosion in Michigan recently? The, oh, the vape, no. The vape pen explosion? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a warehouse. Uh, That's just, about, just over the weekend, right? It was right? about 25 miles outside of Detroit. That must um, have smelled confusing. Yeah. And, uh, blueberry, <laughs> blueberry, strawberry, <laughs> banana, banana, apricot. It just received a uh, similar semi semi truck load of butane containers. Over half of was still the facility of Monday night. He also had pallets of nitrous and lighter fluid Sick. and over a 100,000 vape pins with lithium batteries inside. And I guess they were only supposed to be like a smoke shop location. Right. They were never supposed to have that kind of stuff stored. It says in my 25 years, this is by far the biggest, like ex- you know, biggest explosion kind of thing uh, that I've seen. It bla- the blast shook cars that were one to two miles away, and it sent blast debris flying in the air. Oh no! And some of that flew right toward one of the a 19 year old. That was a grand total of. A quarter mile away from this from this explosion. Okay, it blew a canister up in the air, and the canister came down and hit this kid in the head and killed him. Oh my! See, I and that's a bummer. Whoa! I mean, again, not doing anything, just living your life a quarter mile away. A right. random vape shop explodes, sends a canister a quarter mile away. You're just sitting there, hitting the head and dead. It's just out in the street. Got got to be one of the times that cigarettes are objectively safer. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you're not going to get killed by a flying filter, are you? No, nope. no, I mean, no, no, that's no. just going to be a soft like. <laughs> what the hell was that? Like a little kiss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I read this today. And I was like, God, what are the? I mean, you, know, you again? What are the? What chances? are the chances? Jack and I were in the kitchen today talking about this whole idea, and I don't know if you guys do this. Do you ever like? Do you ever just laughingly calculate the odds of something that's happening to you in real time? Because it seems so out of the ordinary. I'll give you the example of what happened today. A young lady that works in the building was in the kitchen, but she wasn't in the kitchen, really. I went in to get water, right? And there was some cornbread there. 
um, brought in, I guess, this morning from... Uh, uh, On the Monsters, yeah. Yeah, from the Monsters. I said, oh, cornbread. Love cornbread. I was going to go get me a little bit of butter. Usually the, the fridge has some leftover butter from like Panera or, or Dunkin' or whatever. I haven't been in that fridge. I have not opened the door to that refrigerator in well over a month. The one time I went to go in there, this girl comes out of nowhere, walks around the corner, walks right up to the fridge to open it up and go in. There are 10 people in this building. <laughs> and I was like, what are the odds that the minute I needed to get in that fridge for the first time in, in a month and a half, somebody else would walk around the corner out of nowhere <laughs> and need to get in that same fridge? I just like, that happens to me all the time. Does, do you guys pay attention to that stuff? I, I, I had that moment. I like I I feel like I used to have those thoughts, but I, now I just look at everything as a numbers game. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that event and I'm like, that you were due. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. you know, this happens with drive throughs a lot. Have you guys ever been like uh waiting for a drive through and you go like you're gonna pull into like Chick fil A or whatever, it doesn't matter, and you're gonna pull in and there's nobody near. And as soon as you turn right, like two cars will come out of traffic and they'll both <laughs> pile in. It's almost like the movie um uh What's the Jim Carrey movie when he's when he's a uh, a Truman Show when they when they're calculating when everything blocks the traffic? Yes, it's, trying to get in his way. It just seems so. I always it say that. Seems like, intentional. What are the odds of this? <laughs> yeah. Like right now, <laughs> right this is happening. The, the, it's this. the one time I need this to happen this way, and there's somebody in the way. And I would say that what are the odds? It's the same odds that everybody has. Right. Exactly. And, and I just look now. I look at. I don't know, reality, and I go, oh, I think about 80% of this was slightly, slightly <laughs> controlled chaos. <laughs> exactly. I mean, a lot of it is. I, I don't, think I, the vast majority of it is kind of a, there's random dumb luck. Yeah. I do think, though, that the harder you work, the luckier you get. Sure. But there's still an aspect of we <laughs> in life <laughs> that I, I have just sim- simply never uh, I, I never knew that or thought that until right. the last, like, two, three years. And if you play golf, and I know that a lot of people don't, whatever, but when you play golf, call, you know, Ross can uh, kind of verify this. In the world of golf, inevitably, you'll hit your ball into basically a field, right? And it's a field. And inevitably, when you hit a bad shot occasionally, you'll be perfectly behind a bush or something that keeps you from hitting it toward the hole. And you think to yourself, and you look back, you're like, of all the places – in this entire area, if the ball was six inches to the left or six inches to the right, it wouldn't be the same. You would be fine. But that happens all the time, right? All the time. So that that that's your odds thing. Like, this happens considerably more than you think. Uh, you the, just don't pay attention to it all the time. And I agree. Golf talk is, is rough on air. But yeah, is. I will also make it for a non-golfer. The biggest lesson that that sport, that game, that activity has taught me is the best metaphor that I have yet to experience in my day-to-day life which is I can hit a great golf shot and still be in a bad place. Yeah, yeah. And I can hit a bad go- golf shot and end up in a great place. Sure. Poker offers that same thing, and by the way. It's the same thing for life for me. Yeah, yeah. You know, if I, if I think I did well, that doesn't mean that I deserve the outcome that I think I deserve. Ex- yeah, a lot of people could learn something from that. That's why I said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to Ginger Gadsden from New Six. She was the guest on the Monsters today who brought the cornbread. Well, Ginger, you did a great job. It was delicious. Even a couple hours old, it ate quite well. Thank you. Uh, my tummy appreciates it. All right, 407-916-1041. Date night done right with our friend Danny Myring is up next. Your 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1. Tap the microphone and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Looking at heavy traffic in the usual spots on I-4 this afternoon as you travel east and westbound by the major attractions exits. Looking at a good ride, however, for those taking the beach line and the greenway today. No east or westbound major delays to report for those on the 408. If you see any traffic problems this afternoon, just make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by the new Banana Boat 360 coverage. 
This sun season, Banana Boat is giving you a new way to spray. Introducing new Banana Boat 360 coverage. Better control for better coverage with a reusable sprayer and refill. From sport formula to kids SPF 50 plus. Shop Banana Boat 360 coverage on Amazon. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. It is time to be a hero. Tell your friends and family about Life Imaging FLA and their free heart scan. It could be a game changer. It has for many people that I've met just out and around who did get the scan from Life Imaging FLA, who did find find out they had issues and sometimes it won't be your heart and of course that's what we're, f- we're focusing on because unfortunately with heart related issues especially cardiac arrest the very first symptom that you could have could be instant death that's why this is so important i turn my mother-in-law and my father-in-law onto this plenty of friends and family as well you can do the same thing because man when you know that stuff beforehand it really gives you a great advantage on taking care of it long term there are no dyes you don't take your clothes off this only takes a few minutes if you're claustrophobic don't worry you don't go all the way into the tube you're perfectly fine my father-in-law is and he got this done no problem don't wait do exactly what i did call life imaging fla right now get that free heart scan just a few minimum requirements it is a 699 dollars value and while you're there be sure to ask about their cancer screening as well it could not be easier by the way to make your appointment just pick up your cell phone dial pound 250 and say the keyword free heart scan that's all you got to do Pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make 2024 the year you start taking control of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iHeartMedia. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Mr. and Mrs. Flavor, thank you for joining us. Great to be here. I'm Barry. I'm the flavor of Barry. I'm Janet. I'm bitter. You wanted to talk about your son. He's the flavor menthol? Yes. He's the menthol in a menthol cigarette. He's such a disappointment. Out there getting people addicted. Being used by big tobacco to target black people. He could have been a lozenge. Menthol cigarettes are just as addictive as regular cigarettes and harder to quit. Find out how to quit today at TobaccoFreeFlorida.com. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on millsair.com Whitney Cummings presents the Big Baby Tour 2024. I'm sorry that the appropriate age for women to get pregnant in the medical community is at prom in a toilet. Hard Rock Live Friday, November 15th. Get tickets this Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Ah, winter. With its cold, dry air causing that not-so-nice winter nose feeling. Thankfully, you don't have to wait for warmer weather to clear sinus congestion and send winter nose packing. All you need is Navage Nasal Care. Navage helps soothe the inflamed nasal passages that are often part of colds and infections. It flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your sinuses to give you the soothing moisture you need. Navage also sucks out the other irritants trapped in your nose. Viruses, dust, bacteria, and germs, too. 
Winter might feel like it drags on forever, but Navage works quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. No decongestants required. Navage is a drug-free solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navage today and make winter a little more bearable. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. This earful of Real Radio is brought to you by Tools Ace Hardware. Need more animals, more gators, and more fun? Y'all need Gatorland. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. You probably don't know this or care, but we have web goals. So go to jimcolbertlive.com and look at stuff. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. If you missed anything from the show all week, we had a big uh, interview yesterday with Tom Segura, the very famous Tom Segura. You can check that out at jimcolbertlive.com. The goods are there, easy to find. All the cool stuff that we put up is there as well. Uh, plus, you can check out other things as well. Download the podcast of all the show. What you do that's new, it's all right there. Jim Colbert Live.com. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. Jack is here yeah. as well. Ross is wait, making his yeah. way back over. I'm here. We'll wait for him to get there. Big week coming up this week. Lynn Clausman in today to help you out with a couple things that he's been getting a lot of calls about. We'll do that a little bit later. All right, guys. You guys know what time it is. It's time to do date night done right. Let's do it right now. Whether you're dating and in love or married and in a fight, keep your romance shining bright. This is date night done right. Good love for Danny Murray. Yay! Yeah, is here courtesy of Orlando Date Night Guide. She is every single Thursday to tell us all the cool stuff happening in Orlando. How are you, dear? I am wonderful. How's your week, man? It's been wonderful. The weather is great. Yeah. I just, I'm, I'm loving life this week. Man, you got a social life like crazy. Every <laughs> time you come in here, it's like this week has been just like, a, I'm at this tasting or I'm at that tasting or this grand opening or my God, man, I thought I had a cool job. I do have a cool job you do have a and cool I job. homeschool on top of it all, baby. What's <laughs> and, up? And you homeschool as well. <laughs> iron woman, straight up iron woman. Of course, uh, Danny appears courtesy of Orlando date night guide. OrlandoDateNightGuide.com. Tons of cool stuff to do. Now, she focuses on some things for our audience, but if you missed this, you can, of course, go back to JimCorbertLive.com and listen to it, but you can also visit OrlandoDateNightGuide.com for plenty of other ideas as well. A lot of focused Mm -hmm. stuff, too, like parts of town, different restaurants, different fields. You can kind of build the date through the website, so we like that as well. So what do you have for us this week? There's a, a lot of fun stuff happening, and I encourage you to get outside while you can because I, I keep saying it every week, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, summer is that much closer. Oh, yeah, so. it is. We may have had our last blast, Amy. <laughs> we may have had our last blast of cold weather. Is there a sound effect for that yeah, one? That <laughs> uh, so tonight actually is a really fun one. It's Popcorn Flicks in the Park Young Frankenstein, oh, baby. Oh, man. Yes. Classic, <laughs> legendary. <laughs> <laughs> It's my, it's, that's the hardest I've ever laughed with my brother. The, <laughs> the moving hump is my favorite thing. Moving uh, the moving hump is the greatest. When I when I saw put it on the Ritz, that just leveled me. <laughs> leveled it's me. So good. Roll, roll, roll into hay. Right, right. Is this the first one of the season? Uh, I think so. I think so, yeah. I was going to say, man, they roll this thing out, and it is a really big deal because the setting is as good as it gets. Yes, it's gorgeous. Uh, Central Park on on Park Avenue. Bring your blankets. Bring your picnic stuff. Uh, It's completely free. That starts at 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, So, yeah, I don't know if this is rescheduled perhaps from the Halloween season because I know we had a couple of storms Mm -hmm. and stuff. I should have looked that up. But uh, either way, do you need an excuse to go see Young Frankenstein? You do not. For goodness sakes. And if you haven't seen it, then then please do. Uh, So then tomorrow evening, 730 at House of Blues, uh, I wanted to include this one, the Molly Ringwalds, because it is such a fun act. They do like 80s and 90s rock and they're in costume and stuff. So and tickets are only 19 bucks for that. So. If you're looking for something different uh, and uh, down at Disney Springs, you know, there's always so many great places to eat there. You got the new 
Summer House on the Lake that's uh, brand new in that area. Haleo, you can't go wrong with. Weinberg George. I mean, Art and, Smith, you can't lose down there. Uh, it, it is it is so much fun down there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I don't know if you have you if you been to Salt and Straw Ice Cream that's right there as well. No. So they have all <laughs> kinds of weird flavors. Um, and then they have like a couple of classics. Like one of my favorites is the guava and cream cheese donut. Oh, or something. oh yeah. yeah. My. It's, it's good stuff. And they encourage you to like try everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's kind of an experience when you go and you're like, hey, I've not been. I want to try. They're, they almost like become sommeliers of ice cream. They're really? like, here, try this, try this. This is my favorite. Make sure you pay attention to this tasting note and blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> You're it's trying to pick out the cream. peanut butter from the jelly. <laughs> right. In <And> this. <laughs> uh, I believe based out of Portland. Yes. Uh, I, that's where I went and first had and experienced their ice cream. Little life hack for all the salt and straw fans. You can go up, get the pre-pint. You don't really have to wait in the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just get the pint from the fridge and then cash out instead of waiting in the line for the scoops. If you're anti-scoop, you can, you can go pro pint. You know, a lot of the premium ice cream shops are kind of moving to that with their primary co- you know, flavors. They'll yep. put that in a little freezer so you don't have to wait. That's a good hack, though, dude. Yeah, yeah walk through Disney Springs right. with your little pint, which uh, kind of reminds me, too. Um, Wine Bar George has their little quick window called uh, The Basket. You can get a whole bottle of wine to go from there. <laughs> so I'm just saying, you grab your pint of ice cream, grab yourself like a little bottle, <laughs> maybe you- some bubbly Go what, for it, man. What, what? what? What have you got going on? Girl dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so ice cream and wine. That is a girl dinner. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm trying to, if you keep us happy on a date as oh, yeah. the as the feminine presence on a date, then things are going to go well. Yeah, so, they are going to go well. I like that <laughs> advice. Very good advice. <laughs> Absolutely. I try. Uh, so let's see. Happening tomorrow night and Saturday um, at the Art and History Museums of Maitland. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous facility. Um, they are having an opera that is going to unfold throughout the campus there, and there'll be different um, different stations there as well. So they'll have appetizers, wine, desserts, all throughout this gorgeous, gorgeous property, and they're doing an opera, um, which is actually an interpretation of The Little Mermaid, um, kind of the old classic Hans Christian Andersen style. A heck of a mashup, right? You got, <laughs> this, like... sounds, this sounds going to be interesting. <laughs> so if you really want to do something different, it's $150 a person, but that includes the yeah. opera, the the wine, the appetizers, the desserts going through the gorgeous campus of uh, yeah, in yeah. Maitland. This so. sounds like a mushroom tea promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Some, somebody had a little something, and this is always what happens. You know what sounds cool? <laughs> yeah, yeah, little little in the park was yeah, Little Mermaid on psilocybin. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Why don't we make that a product? I like this, but only if we do it outdoors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even better. <laughs> and you got to move from from right. spot to spot. <laughs> right. Uh, it is from Opera Orlando, so it's not like just some guys that got together and decided to. They're 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 fairly legit. Okay, good. It'll be a good time if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, if you do have uh, kiddos in your life, uh, the Easter egg hunts and Easter bunny things have already started to kick off this weekend. So we do have a full list of that at Orlando hyphen parenting dot com. And that's where you can get the pictures thing. with the uh, the bunny rabbits and stuff. Because I saw the mall. I was I had to be in a mall here recently, which mm. is a boy, what a different experience these days. What's wrong with Santa? But they had the they had the Easter bunny thing set up and ready to go, and it's kind of hit me because I'm like, damn, it's already here. Mm-hmm. Easter bunny stuff is already here. Yeah, no, and you're absolutely right. Malls these days oh. are. Uh, Oh, that, that, that Altamont Mall is, man, oh, man. And that that's is, doing better than some of the other ones, I feel. That, I don't know. That thing I, is like a mall laying on a gurney with wires going to it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, have you, did you try the autonomous shuttle by chance that runs know, there? We talked about that there earlier this week. I saw people waiting for it. I didn't know where they were going. Yes. Like, there's nothing open. Where are you going? You yeah. right around the parking lot? They had the same amount of people on the shuttle inside the mall. <laughs> exactly. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Uptown Altamont's the place to be with yeah, Crane's right. Roost, yeah. and, the, and the autonomous shuttle eventually gets there, so perhaps yeah, yeah. there are some fun events coming uh, to Crane's Roost uh, soon as well. So uh, lastly, for the events this weekend, Sunday it at um, the JW Marriott Orlando Grand Lakes, Primo, which is a wonderful Italian Mediterranean um, restaurant, is doing an outside garden. So this is from 11 to 3 uh, it's open to everyone. They're going to have a couple of different stations. They did something similar over the holidays, and I absolutely loved it. 
um, where you have these different stations. You can buy different cocktails, different things to eat, kind of make a little picnic um, in their gorgeous herb garden. Really? Uh, they don't normally open it up for folks to kind of walk around, but uh, beautiful weather for it, beautiful setting. It's free. There's no entry for it. And then obviously the, you know, the things that you want to purchase and consume are going to cost some. You can also do a pre-arranged picnic basket from the Primo Chefs. Uh, order it ahead of time on their website. So. Damn, that sounds awesome. That's a yeah. great idea. That sounds really cool. Is there a dress code for this stuff by any chance? Is like for this event at the JW, would it be like what? That's like, a yeah, good you know, point. Yeah, I mean, like jeans and a nice shirt kind of thing. Yeah, definitely, you know, yeah. what what you call resort casual, right? right, right you right. don't have to be de- totally buttoned. Up. This is Florida. You're going to be outside, but you know, put on some nice little spring yeah. attire. And, just not Crocs and, just... and a fish till I die shirt. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Salt life, yeah. Right. <laughs> With the sunglasses on the back. Exactly. That's my, oh my gosh. And the, pa- and the painter <laughs> flap cat. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget about the gill, dude. My, I, I always <laughs> shout out to the the fishing shirts with the weird like. Cut off cape gill yeah, thing yeah, in the bag. Yeah, the flap. The yeah, air the flap. flap. It needs <laughs> ventilation. It's got mesh underneath it. I've always liked that. It's, it's right. Back. It's right underneath the PFG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. That's a back air flap. Is yeah, what that is. Something going on. It's for aerodynamics. Yeah. Yes, you can see what part of Florida you're from based on on which. Not even like if you're wearing kind of that fishing gear, but then which brand? Oh like, yeah, you know? oh yeah. And, and don't you get caught? Don't you get caught in the wrong place with the wrong Ooh. fishing gear shirt? Is that a yeah. gill, brother? Yeah, yeah. You better get on out of here with your gill looking ass. Is that a guy Harvey shirt? More like gay Harvey. <laughs> Too graphic of a bass yeah, for me. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and sadly, like I'm a I'm a Bell's Florida gal, so I'm like I'm rocking the generic real legend stuff. That's that's where I'm at. <laughs> stuff from eighty four. Yes, I love it. Yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Good job today. You guys yes. give it up good and loud for Danny Myron. Yay! Again, if you missed any of this, go to jimcorberlive.com. It'll be under the goods. And if you want to find out more happening in Orlando, simply go to Orlando Date Night Guide.com. Thanks, Danny. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have yourself have a good week. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> She's about to go get in trouble. Very sassy today, by the way. Yes, she is. Came in here sassy, <laughs> a little strutty. But if I'm, if I'm being honest, All right, she's got places you. to be. All right. 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Date Night Done Right is brought to you by That Mortgage Guy, Don. Mortgage brokers are better. Why? They do all of their loans through national wholesale lenders. It'll still be your standard FHA, VA, or conventional loan, but they have access to dozens of wholesale banks competing for your business. And government studies prove buyers save $9,400 on average with a mortgage broker. That Mortgage Guy, Don, will give you a comparison quote today. Just go to thatmortgageguydon.com. It's peace of mind at your fingertips. So don't miss the boat. Compare your quote at thatmortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with thatmortgageguydon.com. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. Clausmanlaw.com. Heavy traffic reported on I-4 both east and westbound today between Osceola Parkway and US-27. Looking at some delays up in Sanford as well, eastbound on I-4 between the 429 West Beltway exit and the St. John's River Bridge. A crash currently blocks two eastbound lanes on University Boulevard at Goldenrod, causing major backups at that intersection. If you see other traffic problems, make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Sam- Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Discover. Did you know Discover wants everyone to feel special? That's why with your Discover card, you have access to 24-7 customer service, as well as $0 fraud liability, which means you're never held responsible for unauthorized purchases. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. Limitations apply. Hey, everybody. Jim Colbert here for my friends over at the Filatoski Eye Institute. If you have any, if you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK, they're going to tell you it's the best thing they ever did. More often than not, they'll add this. Should have done it way sooner. That is exactly what my father-in-law said when he got his LASIK surgery from the guys over at the Filatoski Eye Institute. He wondered why he waited so long. He didn't have to tolerate those bad eyes for so many years. He did it for over a decade. And when he got his surgery, he could not believe how silly that was. So look, man, take your take his advice. Get to the Filatoski Eye Institute. These guys are offering free LASIK consultations. Why wouldn't you find out just what they can do for you? It's easy to build your appointment, too, by the way. Just text 1041 to 866 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatoski Eye 
Institute. They have over 65,000 LASIK procedures under their belt. They have all the experience you want. They use the latest state-of-the-art technology. It's the best, and you get the best results. Don't stress this when it comes to finances. They have 24-month interest-free financing available. Again, to make your appointment, simply text 1041 to 868686 to schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatowski Eye Institute. Your path to better vision begins now. This year full of real radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance and or see all the latest from Viragio. Unique, distinctive, and personalized. Find the ring of your dreams and enjoy two years zero interest financing. Plus, at this event, when you buy any Takori or Viragio ring, IDC will give you a $500 gift card. Buy the matching wedding band and get a $1,000 gift card. Don't miss this spectacular event featuring the most exclusive designers in bridal and let IDC's experts help you match up the most perfect diamond for the ring you'll fall in love with. It's happening next weekend, March 15th through 17th, exclusively at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations on approved credit. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on MillsAir.com. In St. Augustine, Panavitra, it might feel like there's not enough time to take everything in. Because once you're done exploring 42 miles of pristine coast, marveling at historical architecture, and enjoying world-class food, it'll be time to check out and head home. But that's okay. You can always stay just one more day. Visit floridashistoriccoast.com to learn more. It's about time. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navage helps me clear the way, literally clear the way, for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Love podcasts? Pull out your phone right now, open the free iHeartRadio app, and check out these podcasts. History on trial. Only 30 minutes to put her body in the well. Dateline NBC. The first big clue in the mystery. Mission Implausible. The means to keep down what was then called the third world. Listen today on the iHeartRadio app. More than just the best radio, it's your favorite podcasts, too. And best of all, it's absolutely free. iHeartRadio. For all your windows and doors, go to FAS. FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Hey, so apparently Facebook is still a thing. Search gym members and join our group. Hey, what's up, Ohana? Oh, brother Jim, going to the next level, getting one cat. Bro, you're going to love it. Cats are a trip. Uh, I don't know what to say other than I always had to have that mouser around the house. And in any event, good luck. But you're going to love a bro. 
You're going to cheap out. <laughs> None of that is convincing. I'm going to be honest with you. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Hi, I'm Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And, Jack. Mm. and Ross as well. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Thinking about the cat thing. See, what? it depends on what, you, what tripping out means to you. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, I mean, they're very interesting animals because they, they're just very interesting animals. The way they look at life is just interesting. And, uh, you know, because they don't play and they don't come when you call them and stuff, that's not really a, that's not really my thing. I like to well, call Well, they do play. Yeah, but, I mean, not like a puppy. Like, I can't throw a sock and have it come back and, you know, the, nice. the dog's not going to go get. Very nice. The dog's not going to get. The cat's not going to go and get the sock and bring it back to me. You might. Some have been taught to do that. And yeah. if you are determined when they are a kitten, you start training it. Yeah, yeah. You can teach it stuff. Yeah, but by the way, do the uh, do cats have different personalities when yeah. it comes to. Well, hold on. Do their breeds, like a, is a tabby different than one of those yeah. gray striped yeah. ones as opposed to a calico or mm-hmm. any of that? Which ones are the chillest? What cat? What cat is the chillest cat? Like when it comes to their demeanor, is there a specific one of those uh, that has a more? Yeah, uh, the lands chip? are supposed to be really sweet, and I'm sure textures are going to start really coming in heavy with these suggestions. Yeah. The, the, However, it, there's chill as in reserved, but kind of off to themselves, and they don't like to be messed with. And then there's chill as in they'll just lay around like more of a lap. Cat. Yeah, that's kind of right. what I'm looking for, kind of like a cat that acts a lot like a dog. Uh, so, right, uh, right, right. That right. would be my cat. Oh, really? Chews. Yeah. Yep. She chews things like, uh, really? oh, yeah, countertops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah. She's more dog oh, than get cat. Get a laser pen. They're a blast. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. Just I, don't shoot them in the eye. I found oh. a top 10 calmest dog or cat breed. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know these were cat breeds. Okay. Have you ever heard of a ragamuffin? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of a ragamuffin. I've cat. never heard of a ragamuffin. Yeah, there's the one with the puffy faces, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's number eight. Oh. Number seven, a bermilla? No, I don't, don't know what a bermilla is. I don't know. Sounds delicious, though. A British short hair? No, don't know what that is. That's one of your ancestors. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, a Scottish fold? <laughs> okay. Number five. Number four, Himalayan. Very nice. And that's, the, the when, I, when I think of a cat, I think of a Himalayan cat. I I forgot what that's the Himalayan cat is. uh, Let me say this correctly. Meet the Fockers movie cat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful cat. And then he tries to paint the cat's tail and pretend that it's a different cat. I love it. Persian cat number three. Number two, and this is the calmest cat breeds, Ragdoll. Oh, yeah, 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 those are sweet. I've never even heard of a Ragdoll cat. Are these all like, but these are all like, 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 you know, like. Premium cats, though, right? Well, they're breed specific. Yeah, I mean, you know, I have half a Persian that I had adopted from the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 And the number. And again, I, I'm a dog person. I just ended up finding a kitten yeah. here in the bushes at work, and once I saw her eat and saw how hungry she was, my heart melted. Yeah, yeah. And I, I decided you. to take her home. Yeah. The the calmest cat breed, which is apparently they cost a pretty penny since they are fairly rare in the U.S. But you can really, can you really put a price on love, this article says. The Siberian cat. Siberian cat. And looking at a Siberian cat makes me feel like I'm about to have three wishes going my way. (laughs) It's just a real super fluffy cat, though. That is a magical, mystical-looking animal. Yeah, that's (laughs) very cool. I like that. It's got a huge little mate. Dude, I no wonder why Egyptians were like praise this thing. Oh yeah, because they that thing looks. They're lo- always considered to be half in the physical world and half in the spiritual world. That's that's the allure of cats. Really, I, what I love about it was like when they're doing. I have one cat. Uh, let's see, what's his name? Bingo. He's the. He's the teenager. He, he's the troublemaker. Oh, like, yeah. he's always looking. He's messing around the with The rabble stuff. rouser? He's the one who's always, you open that front door, he's trying to make a beeline for it. He'll run out of the house, then run around to the backyard just to, because he sees the backyard from our screened-in porch. Right. But doesn't get to experience it. So when he's out there, then he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> then I just walk over, pick him up. Okay, back inside, Bingo. <laughs> but when you catch him when they're about to do something, you just redirect him. It's like you pick them up, you put them down, then they just walk off like they meant to go in that direction all along. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. They, they, they have that attitude. Like, yeah, I meant to do that. Well, I, I mean, look, look, the one that my dog is playing with right now that we're cat sitting, 
uh, is one of these calico cats, and she's a fatty, and she doesn't move a whole lot, and she is real sketched out by the dog. She's not buying it. She does not 100% on the dog. She side-eyes him all the time, or her all the time. Yeah. Yeah, my mom, my mom's little dog, uh, Brisket, he's always trying to get to Tab and Autumn when they stayed with him, and they hid the whole time. Oh, yeah? Because they don't know. They, they, they're not around dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you get a kitten and you raise the kitten with Sadie, that's going to be all the kitten's mm. going to know. Oh, yeah. Ross is putting a Siberian up at jimcolbertlive.com if you want to go click through the YouTube. See, that's a pretty cat, dude. Dude, that's the I'm cat. I'm down for that, that cat right there. Th- if that cat asked me to kill someone, yeah. I'd think about it. <laughs> like, that cat has got me in a trance. I, I would loan that cat $1,000 with no collateral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I if, would. That, I would ask this cat to go camping on the first time we met. It's got never-ending story vibes, was it? It, it really does. Falcor. I want to ask this cat for marriage advice. <laughs> yeah, dude. That cat <laughs> telling me something. <laughs> Do you see it, Deborah? Yeah, the oh, cat yeah, looks beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That is a stunning animal. A lot oh, of yeah. people, so I we always talk about my dog that's really sick. I have two dogs. One of the dogs is completely fine and, uh, you know, a handful. But a lot of my friends look at my that my other dog Hazel as like a dude. I don't think that's a dog. Oh really? It's just very fox. Yeah, like a fox, like, like just, just darting around like, everywhere. Yeah, like an Arctic fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squeaky. Yeah, just weird. Yeah, I gotta figure. I think what, I, here's the thing. Don't tell anybody, but I think I kind of want. My wife is the one that's been really wanting a cat bad because, really, to be honest with you, she wants a little partner for the dog because the dog's home most of its you know most of the time by itself every day. You know, my son's there sometimes, but we don't let the big dog out and just run, wander around. She just has a run of the house because she never goes to the bathroom. She's very well trained, but we feel she gets lonely in there. And we feel that a cat would be kind of the perfect thing because the cat could just kind of go away when she doesn't want to play anymore. And Sadie would just have to deal with it. So that's kind of what we're looking at. And I do agree. A kitten has to be the right thing. And we I, we would definitely want to rescue one. We won't buy one. We'll we'll go find one that we think is cute. We'll just kind of bring it up from from young. Kitten is meowing, it? cutest noise on the planet. It's pretty cute. I can't think of a cuter yeah. noise than a kitten. Yeah. I have heard, though, cats are a pain in the ass to have around because aren't they up at all times of the night? And does your cat sleep with you? Um, some cats can be very nocturnal. I don't. I have two girl cats, so I and I'm new in this game, so I don't know if the behavior of boy cats, if they're more, I, I'm assuming they're more rambunctious. A uh, little bit, yeah. Uh, three boy cats. and Oh, all of them are boys. Yeah. We will... Uh, close our bedroom door to leave them out. Like, I leave them in the other half of the house where they have access to water, their food, and the litter box. Boom. Then they're good. If that door is open, they will come to the bedroom door. Scratching? And just, well, even just pawing. Not not damaging yeah. the door. Just, like, tapping but it the- in, until you get up, and then I'll just put them outside. And, it'll, like, I'll open that hallway door. They go through. Then I close it and say, ha, 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 ha. Then I go back to bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just heard if they say in your room that they'll be, they'll just crawl around on you all night long. So and... they they nope. can. Mine will stay under the bed until about four a.m. and then just it's like he pops up on the bed and he just wants you to know he'll walk on you until he gets your attention like and the... then it's like okay, hey dad, deal with me. Hey yeah. dad, I'm yeah. up. Dad, dad, dad. Hey, I just dad. want to give you a heads up. Dad. My I'm cats up. are trained. You know one of the I'm, best I'm things. Oh. Dad. you know one of the best things to keep around your bed. <laughs> hey dad. Yeah, what? A water spray bottle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I, I have trained my cats. Wake me up at your own peril. Hey, you put foil on the bed, too, right? Well. They hate that. They hate the tin foil. They do not like the tin foil. You're probably not going to like tin foil in your bed either. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, there's yeah, other yeah. options. Know, we'll put the tin foil around your Christmas tree. Yeah, you don't, you don't know my life. Yeah, 4 a.m. <laughs> tin foil seems worth it. <laughs> it, seems, it seems like it's going to go your way. It seems like there's going to be a net positive for you, Jim. No. But when in that morning when we open the, the <laughs> thanks that, for your vote of confidence, ass. When we we open that door out to the other part of the house, the uh, you know the, they're all there. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, just, they love it. Just flame throwing. Waiting out for too. food. I saw right. a cat today that I almost called like the cops on. Why? It was not doing good. It it was not. I and I don't know. Like that, rabies, bad. I don't know. That has happened like six times in my entire adult life, and I know I'm not alone. Where right. someone looks at a cat from like. 70 feet away, and you're like, oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what happened to you, a little bud? <laughs> Everything all right? Yeah. I was in a rush, so, I mean, the cat's in my neighbor's front yard. Yeah, but. yeah. All right. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Take a little break. Come back with our buddy Glenn Clausman. Colbert Court is right after this. Real Radio. 
Radio is the news junkie. My parents told me years later that they were supposed to, I was supposed to be, uh, I was supposed to have like leg braces. Oh, the, really? Like they, Forrest Gump? Gump? Yeah, like Forrest Gump. <laughs> the news junkie. Weekdays at 11 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Hey, Central Florida and Fox 35 Storm Team meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Thursday. And we're expecting a gorgeous day. Make plans to be outside if you don't have them already. We'll plan for an afternoon high of 81 degrees of the mix of sunshine and clouds. As we head to our Friday, we'll expect a few more clouds overhead. Temperatures will stay in the low to mid 80s by this weekend for Saturday breezy, a high of 89 degrees with evening shower and storm chances. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by the new Banana Boat 360 coverage. This sun season, Banana Boat is giving you a new way to spray. Introducing new Banana Boat 360 coverage. Better control for better coverage with a reusable sprayer and refill. From sport formula to kids SPF 50 plus. Shop Banana Boat 360 coverage on Amazon. This is trial attorney Jeff Coppin from the injury law firm McCoppin and Lind. Whenever you hear the words, this call is being recorded, understand this is not for your benefit. In my experience representing thousands of clients over 25 years, I have seen insurance companies use these recordings to deny responsibility and avoid paying medical expenses. Let your attorney do your talking for you. Contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546. Office Orlando. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. Time to be a hero. Tell your friends about Life Imaging FLA. Get them over there. That's exactly what I did for my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. The instant that my wife and I got our scans from Life Imaging FLA, we ran to the phone to tell them, hey guys, you got to go do this. It got to that point in their life, early 60s. It, look, they didn't go to the doctor a whole bunch. And Life Imaging FLA and their free heart scan could really let these guys know if there are any problems that could be sneaking up on them. That's what I thought when I got my scan from these guys. I was like, well, I expected to see some stuff with my heart. My heart was fine, but my kidneys had some issues, diverticulitis issues. But we took that information right to my primary care doctor and got a plan going immediately. That's what can happen for you and your friends and family. Get them over there. Life Imaging FLA does have this free heart scan. Just a few minimum requirements. It is a $690. $99 value and be sure that when you get there you ask about their cancer screening as well just pick up your cell phone dial pound 250 and say the keyword free heart scan that is all you have to do and by the way this takes no time at all only a few minutes you don't have to take your clothes off there are no injections nothing like that you don't have to be scared if you're claustrophobic you don't go into the entire tube couldn't be easier again Pick up your cell phone, pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call. Make 2020 for the year. You take control of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iHeart Media. A real crew capsule. A next-generation space plane. A rocket booster that landed itself. Where will they inspire you to go? Mars? The rings of Saturn? New worlds, light years beyond. Choose your breathtaking journey into the future of space travel at Gateway, the Deep Space Launch Complex, featuring Spaceport KSC, where real space meets real thrills. Only at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Visit kennedyspacecenter.com for tickets. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on MillsAir.com. Make your dream of a new pavers driveway pool deck beautiful patio and artificial turf a reality with pavers depot join us at the largest pavers showroom in central florida over 400,000 square feet in stock including tamron brand pavers pavers depot can get your job done in just two weeks with a free estimate on custom installation visit online at paversdepot.com or call 407-839-5900 407-839-5900 paversdepot.com 
$5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, three hundred dollars. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Want more from us? At The Jim Colbert Show on Instagram. Follow us. Good afternoon, guys. Jim, if you're thinking of getting a cat, and I know you're looking at places to live, keep in mind, have a room for the cat and get an automatic feeder. That way you close the cat in at night and you're not worried about waking up at a certain time to feed the cat. It has worked great in our house. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show right here on Real Radio 104.1. I am Jim. Deb is with me. Hello. Jack is as well. Bro. And Ross is too. Your honor. Your honor. I'm here. Let's do Colbert Court. What you are listening to is real. Well, sort of. The participants are not actors. That's a fact. This is, however, a real case that will be decided here in our forum. The Colbert Court. Colbert Court brought to you by our good friend Glenn Clausman and Clausman Law. That's K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N Law.com. Offices right there in Winter Park. 407-917-1718. Car crash. Call my man Glenn Clausman. Good and loud for Glenn Clausman. Yay! say he is a man of honor. He comes bringing thank gifts. Thank you, thank you. He, uh, Glenn and I both have a wonderful, wonderful relationship with the Italian restaurant in Maitland called Francesca's. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, uh, I mean, one of the best Italian restaurants in the city of Orlando. I think one of the best lasagnas you can get. And uh, Glenn always drops by with a little something. He brought us a pizza today. And that is one of the most, I have to tell you, they don't get enough credit for their pizza. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they really don't because it's damn good. Go yep. sit the go sit at the bar there. Just get a salad, a couple glasses of wine, and watch those guys bake bread, and make mm-hmm. pizzas all night. Mm-hmm. It's a blast, man. Yep, yep. It's a show. Yeah, it's a yeah. show. If you haven't been to Francesca's in Maitland, and you he mentioned because watching the chef, we've got like uh, eight pans going at yeah. one time, and I don't know, how, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> I have never, no idea how they do it. Never wrong. I've been there a thousand times, yeah. and they get it right every yeah. time. Good job. Interesting. You're a cat person now. No, stop it. <laughs> I got heard it on the radio. I know. It's got to be true. It's got to be true, right? Then. Well, so here's what's happened. Uh, we are cat sitting 
Uh-huh. Uh, my daughter was cat sitting, right? And then she went to Ecuador. Actually, I believe she just landed a few minutes ago, and so we got to cat sit her cat sit. So we watched our dog interact with this cat, and it was absolutely adorable. And our dog, sure. our dog loves him. All right. So we're now maybe considering getting a cat. Sure, great. It's a great thing. Do you have how many? Uh, three. You have three. Are they all male? No. Uh, are they all female? No. Uh, we have one. Grandma is a female, and we have the two black uh, cats that are males that were rescue cats. They're all rescues, right? Yeah, all yeah, rescues, yeah, all yeah, rescues. Yeah. yeah, all your animals are rescues. All the animals are rescues. Super. Is it low impact? I mean, are they hard to take care of? Or is, oh, cats are easy. Yeah, piece compared of cake. to compared to dogs, cats right. are easy. And they're inside cats. They're, well, the, the, the only problem we have is we we have to bring one of them in at at night. Make sure he comes in at night. The other one, the other two stay in. But one of them stays outside, likes it outside. First thing in the morning, he's, he's wanting to go out. We let him out. But we got to bring him in before it gets dark because of the coyotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, and they'll get him. Coyotes just kill them. They just, they just kill the hell out of them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They did. Well, I mean, I'm just saying that what's happened over in a certain area of town is people have realized that their cats are missing. Like, uh, it yeah. is like an entire neighborhood. There was a story in the Sentinel night been three weeks ago about this entire uh, neighborhood has a problem with their cats disappearing because of the influx of coyotes in that area. Not yeah. laughing at the story, laughing at the out of hell <laughs> out of them. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, we're worried about uh, migrants. Well, you know, why don't, why don't we get put all the coyotes into, like, trucks and send them to the border, send them across to Mexico, and leave them there where they belong? <laughs> That's what we do. Right, why yeah. are we getting rid of the coyotes? I mean, you know, really. There's so many of them. Really? Yeah, they're everywhere, too. Yeah, I mean, and the nonsense about, oh, you get rid of them, they'll just breed more. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Well, is that their logic? I've, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Scott Maxwell did a piece on it. Yeah, yeah, you got to get rid of them. And that way, they do. It's not gremlins. You know, it's, they yeah. don't multiply. Well, that's what Scott was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's going on, man? I mean, you know, I know that we have a uh, you had a you have a lot of people who call the office every day. A lot of people and, who listen to the show and call, and they ask a lot of questions. Yes, and true. so I thought with it uh, today, you were texting me and said, "Well, maybe we'll just answer a bunch of these questions that people right. call because these are non-injury issues they're calling right. about, right? Right. They exactly haven't been in a wreck or anything like that. They just want to ask questions, maybe about their policy, about some things. Actually, the one that you said during the break was very interesting. My car got towed, all my stuff's in it. Now what kind of thing? Mm-hmm. But so, what are those kind of things that you well, get repetitive questions the, about? The main thing is. Uh, people will get in an accident, and, and what we do is we do injury claims. And there used to be a situation where, like Jack's case, where I could do a, a damage to the vehicle where the insurance company is cheating you on what they're paying you for the vehicle. I used to be able to do those cases, but they changed the law where it's not feasible to do them because the person who's getting cheated by however much it is would have to pay attorney's fees on top of it, and by the time they do that, it, it makes no sense to get a lawyer involved. So so what, what happens now is a lot of times I'm getting calls what I was in an accident. Uh, my, what what am I, what am I entitled to as far as the damage to my car? And sometimes what happens, and, and I'll go into it. There's like you're in the middle car and you get rear-ended and you get knocked into the car in front. So there's two cars that are damaged now by the guy that caused it. So what happens is sometimes the person who caused the crash only has ten thousand dollars of insurance to pay the damage to the vehicles. The law requires they have ten thousand. Sometimes they have fifty. Sometimes they have a hundred. But a lot of times, the bad people only have ten. So now you've got a car that's damaged, and you've got more than ten thousand dollars worth of damage, and you may have two cars that together it's easily more than ten thousand dollars in damage. And they're saying, "Well, the guy that hit me, his insurance company is not willing to take care of my car damage because he only has ten thousand, and it's more than ten thousand to take care of everything. So I have to go through my own, and I don't want to go through my own." Well, the problem is, at that point, you have to go through yeah. your own. You go through your own, you have collision coverage. If you don't have collision coverage, you're in a real bind. But hopefully you have collision coverage. And what collision coverage pays is it will pay to get your car fixed. Uh, they'll put you in a rental car while your car is being fixed. Uh, usually people have rental reimbursement when they have collision coverage. And then uh, when your car is fixed, you get it and you put take the rental back. Sometimes what happens is you know people don't have rental coverage, and that, that creates a big problem. You have to have a credit card and be age 25 to at least get a rental. I mean, that sometimes is a problem. But there's not a whole lot lawyers can do for you in that type of situation. Uh, the insurance company is going to pay for the damage, and that's it. And then sometimes cars get totaled, and people are very upset. You know, they, they have a car for a long time. It's a great car. They've taken great care of it. And the insurance company says, okay, well, we're totaling it. It's only worth $3,000. Right, yeah, we're going to give you a replacement value. It doesn't even cover, uh, cover the 10-year. No, and I, well, how, can I get a, how can I get a car again for $3,000? Well, that's, that's the problem. And as a lawyer, 
I really can't do anything about that. That's amazing because if, if, if to do so, uh, you're going to have to assume half the responsibility of this legal or, you know, of the legal fees, which could run, which could be more than the, the oh, value of what they're going to give you. Much more because when yeah. we would have to file a lawsuit, yeah. and then the insurance company starts arguing with us, and we don't know how many hours we're going to have to argue with them, and then finally, you know, it's it's to the point where you'd be paying more in attorney's fees than we're arguing over. Yeah. So it makes no sense at all. So I mean, that's the issue. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to talk to people when they have. Injury claims, try to help them out. And, and people have called many, many times about property damage claims, their, their car's damaged, and, and what can I do? And if you ask, you'll get probably 100 different uh, texts saying, yeah, I called him and he helped me out on the, on the damage to the car and what to do. But, you know, really, uh, it's injury claims that we handle, and it's very difficult to tell people, hey, I can't help you. It's kind of frustrating. I can't help you. Right. But, with, you with, know, with the car damage, you can't With the car help damage them. only. Injury, yeah. injury, you can help. Absolutely. Car damage is tough Absolutely. because, again, the way the law has been changed. Absolutely. And, 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 again, the thing I thought was most disconcerting that you shared a couple of weeks ago is when we were talking about this law change again mm -hmm. is that, you know, rarely do these things go backwards. Yeah. You know, rare, rarely do they legislate back to where it was before because the insurance lobby is so powerful that that's hard to do. You have to find people in office that are willing to challenge them. That's hard to do because they're powered. Their campaigns mm -hmm. are powered by insurance lobby dollars. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be, do you, I mean, as a lawyer, do you basically, have you just settled in and realized and kind of con concede, um, uh, conceded to yourself that this is how it's going to be? Yeah, I, th I think as far as, you know, where we're at right now, I don't think it's going to get any better. I mean, part of the problem is uh, put yourself in the shoes of a politician that gets elected. He's up mm -hmm. there in Tallahassee. He's he's now part of this group. And when it comes time to get reelected, who's giving him money to help him get reelected? Yeah. Who's giving the party money to help, to help get reelected? It's, it's big business, the insurance lobby, big business. It's not the little people, the folks that uh, are his constituents. He gets very little money from them. Yeah, yeah. He gets money from the lobbyists. And, the, and because... They're funding your campaign and helping you get reelected. You're going to listen to what they need. And it, it seems like to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here because I don't know, but it seems like it it, it, it actually hurts everybody across the board. Does it hurt one one socioeconomic group greater than the other? Does this, does this attack people that, with less means than people that have means? It may. It may because a lot of times that people that have means figure out a way to help themselves. Right, right, right. But, you know, people that live paycheck to paycheck, it's devastating sometimes. Sure. Especially if you, you know, if that's your only, I mean, we've heard stories like this before. If that's right. our only means of transportation. And, the, and I hate the trap door, by the way, and I, mm -hmm. that's what I call it. It's a trap door. The ability of an insurance company to be able to total your car, that should not be a decision that they can make solely by the way do you agree with that that's well, not that's not a decision the insurance company should be able to make because because of them it's just a sliding rule is all it mm -hmm. is if the if the car can be repaired they should repair it yeah. but unfortunately they start looking at the books and say well to repair it's 10 it's only worth six right we'll t we'll we'll well, i'll tell you what we'll take the hit we'll give you a check for six right. your car's now totaled right. but in reality it's not because there's a definition for a car being totaled right well, the frame uh, has to be bent. No, here's unfortunately the way it works. What, what happens? Unfor because that's the way it used to be, right? Like the car had to be not safe to drive anymore, which I remember as yep. the frame had to be bent to the point where it could not be trusted on the on the road anymore. Okay. Well, here's the way it actually works in practice today. If it costs more than 80% to fix a car, <laughs> more than 80% of what it's worth. So if your car is worth $5,000, 80% of that would be 4000 If it costs more than 4000 to fix it, they're allowed to total it. Wow. That's, that's the problem. Now, oh. there is a way that if they're totaling your car, what they're figuring out, let's say that it's $5,000 is what it's worth, and 80% is 4000 so you're going to get 4000 What they figure it in is maybe 500 of that is salvage value, what they could sell, sell a car to a salvage place for. You can actually get the, keep the car, reduce what you get paid by the salvage value amount, and then you'll have a car that is going to be very difficult to ever transfer title on because it'll have a salvage title. Yeah, yeah. title but, that says it's basically been in a wreck. Yeah, but you can you, you can keep the car, but you're going to take a little bit of a hit because you're going to give up the salvage value. And then if it, who's going to pay for getting it repaired? I mean, you'd have to pay for getting it repaired then. Well, Glenn, here's my question. When, what are these numbers based on? You know, these, these car repair numbers mm -hmm. because... You know, as everyone buys a more and more sophisticated mm -hmm. vehicle with electronics that are more and more expensive mm -hmm. to fix, mm -hmm. where is the insurance industry getting these numbers on what it's going to take to fix even Jack's new mm -hmm. car or Ross's new car? Mm -hmm. They're already more expensive than what they were driving before just because of what they are. Yeah, and that's the, the real shame that people can buy insurance that only pays $10,000 to fix a car. That's the real shame. But you cannot get the 
insurance industry to want to increase that because they know it's the bad drivers that are causing the problems, and they'd rather pay no more than ten grand than have to pay twenty five or more. So that's part of the problem. And then also the legislature would say, well, if we forced people to get twenty five thousand instead of ten, they would increase their premiums. We don't want to force people to do that. That's the other side of that. So I mean, it, it, that is crazy, though. Yeah. I mean, going back to the the, the totaling thing, that's, it's been ten thousand forever. That's but I understand, but that's bananas. Mm-hmm. I mean. You are asking the insurance company mm-hmm. to value a car that they could benefit from totaling. Yeah. I mean, I mean that, is, that is bananas, right? I mean, yeah. that is the, literally the wolf watching the sheep. That's the power of lobbyists, yeah. baby. Yeah, but I mean, but it's, what it is, it's the fair market value of the car that they look at to determine if they're going to total it. It's fair market value, either Kelly Blue Book or some other, you know, something comparable. It's what in the community you'd be able to buy that car from a private seller for. So, I mean, you might think the car's worth a lot more, but that's what the number is that you start with that it's worth. That's fair market value. That's all they have to pay. And the real problem is sometimes you're upside down because you got a loan. Right. And the fair market value is less than what you owe. Right. That's why people need gap insurance yeah, yeah, too yeah, on yeah. top of it. Wow. That is that is really unbelievable. I had no clue that the insurance company were the ones that set the total. I actually thought that that you had to, or it had to be a um, uh, uh, like a consensus of opinions from mechanics. Like if you went to, well, like, let's say you get three mechanics' opinions, you go there, the car's worth twelve grand. They say the damage is worth, like you know, right at twelve grand, maybe a ten grand or whatever. Is there a is there a plus or minus on this well, sliding scale? It, like, like like let's say the car's worth fifteen and the damage is you know fourteen. Is is it, do they say well you know it's so close that we're just going to go ahead and do that. Is there a plus or minus or a, a grace area? It, it's generally 80%. And, and we, they rely on what the shop says it's going to cost. The shop, like in Jack's case, they look at the car, they decide how much it's going to cost to fix it, get it back on the road, and that's the number that they use for the repair. And then if it's 80% more than what the car is worth, they're going to total it. What a travesty because Jack's car really wasn't in that bad of shape. No. 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 It was not. As a matter of fact, when, when the, he told me they were going to total that car, I'm like, that's criminal. Yeah. Like, that is straight up criminal to total a car with that little bit of damage because of the total value of the vehicle at the time. Well, it, that is straight up a crime, dude. I'm telling you. It would have been even it's more ridiculous. criminal if it happened two days later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was one of the last cases before yeah. this bill passed that kind of gave a little bit more of an advantage to the insurance company. And, and for the people, burning the midnight more, oil. A lot more than a little, Ross. And, and, yeah. and, and for the people who do not know, Jack was in a parking lot at a concert. And somebody just backed out of a space. Like how? Unless you floored it, backing out of that space and hit you square on, there wasn't just enough speed at all to cause damage that could have totaled a car. Yeah. I mean, not even close. But what happened was they took it apart trying to fix it and realized the hours it was going to take to put it back together and said, "We'll just total this bitch." And, and also, the rails were somehow bent that they claim must have been they, before the that, crash. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, that's a lie. Real, yeah. That's real, a straight up that's lie. That's what they claimed. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a lie. I'm telling you, it's a lie. I'm confused on one thing when it comes to car insurance. That's a lie. It's a lot of things that I'm confused about when it comes to car insurance. But have they adjusted for inflation as well? I keep hearing like for the 10, cost of vehicles. Yeah, no, I keep no, hearing ten thousand back in the day. I'm like, well, ten thousand back in the day ain't ten thousand right now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. Not at all. Not oh, at all. And man. and for the reasons we talked about, uh, they don't want to mandate that people have to buy more insurance because then they feel when they're running for election next time, whoever's opposing them says, well, this person voted to increase your, your car insurance rates. Oh, oh god! And, you know, the other side of the coin is they know the bad drivers are the ones that are having the low coverage. And why should we insure them when we can limit it to ten thousand dollars that we may have to, we may have to pay off when they cause a crash, as opposed to having to pay out twenty five when they cause a crash? Wow! I, I like you, That's Glenn. It. I, in fact, I love you, Glenn. But I tend to get pretty frustrated every now and then when we talk because that just makes me so <laughs> upset. And he has to stare at people who have to deal with this financially. Yeah, who, who are oh. actually in this situation and losing the money. Yeah, you want to talk about something happy though, fun? Quickly, quickly. I sent you some uh, YouTube videos. Of a, it's a very good lawyer who it's, oh. it's lawyer advertising. I don't know the lawyer, but the advertising is terrific that he does. He, he, he ran a, an ad during the Super Bowl. Oh, he's, yeah. from, he's from Biloxi, Mississippi, so it's not our not our part of town. But of course, there some of the big advertisers advertise there also, and he, he's got some great ads. So you go on go on YouTube and look at Maloney and Lyons YouTube videos. It's Maloney like baloney with an M, and they're very funny. You'll enjoy them. 
They're the best legal advertising, lawyer advertising. <laughs> so they're humorous. They're creative. They're great. That's very good, yeah. man. You guys give it up good and loud for Glenn Clausman. Yay! That's a pizza guy. K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N law.com. Office is right there on Winter Park. 407-917-1718. If you get in a car crash, call that guy right there. That's Mr. Glenn Clausman. Glenn, have a great week, buddy. Thanks. We'll you got it, man. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Orlando City returns to Inter and Coast Stadium to host Minnesota United FC this Saturday. Coverage begins at 7 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. Afternoon delays reported all along I-4 right now as you travel east and westbound on the interstate between the Beach Line and 535, as well as between Osceola Parkway and US-27. Looking at some slow traffic as well now on the Turnpike, both north and southbound near the Oakland Exchange exit and through Kissimmee. If you see traffic problems, make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by the new Banana Boat 360 coverage. This unseasoned Banana Boat is giving you a new way to spray. Introducing new Banana Boat 360 coverage. Better control for better coverage with a reusable sprayer and refill. From sport formula to kids SPF 50 plus. Shop Banana Boat 360 coverage on Amazon. There are 14 different fees that can show up on a loan estimate that go directly to your lender. Now, do you know how to identify them in your quote? Don't worry if you don't, because that mortgage guy, Don, does. And with his expertise and personalized approach, he is going to guide you through every single step, ensuring you get the best mortgage for your needs. Do what I did. Take the fear out of home buying and trust that mortgage guy, Don, to help you achieve your dream of home ownership. Plain and simple. No spam, no hassle. Just peace of mind at thatmortgageguydon.com. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Bike Week is here. Make Orlando Harley-Davidson part of your Bike Week plans. Orlando Harley-Davidson has the largest selection of new and pre-owned Harley-Davidson motorcycles in the state of Florida. Make sure to stop at Orlando Harley-Davidson during Bike Week. Enjoy food, exclusive merchandise, pinstriping, tattoos, music, a full bar, and so much more. Visit OrlandoHarley.com for a full list of motorcycle inventory and Orlando Bike Week details. Stop by the Orlando Harley-Davidson dealership right off I-4 across from the Mall at Millennia. Let's talk real risks and real safety for a sec. Right now, banks are juggling debts under the radar. Commercial properties, cars, credit cards, they're owed on. It's a bit much, right? Makes you think about the big 08 crash, but there's a smoother way to handle your finances. I've turned to gold and silver. Traditional? Sure. Reliable? Absolutely. Not just shiny objects. Some stability in these uncertain times. Interested in exploring this path? Noble Gold Investments can guide you. They know their stuff about price. Precious metals for IRAs and 401ks. And here's a little nudge. A quarter ounce gold standard coin free with a qualifying account only this month. Invest with the folks at Noble Gold Investments. Claim your free gold coin and secure your family's financial future. Just use the promo code GOLD. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. noblegoldinvestments.com. Past performance may not be indicative of future results. Investing in precious metals including gold involves risks. Consult with your tax attorney or financial professional before making an investment decision. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance company. Companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jarn Levine. Call 1 800 747 free for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. Fine. What's your problem then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-canceling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. 
When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose and repair your electric panel and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. The hit true crime podcast, Paper Ghosts, is back with a haunting mystery in the shadows of the Ozarks. Season four unravels a darkly intriguing cold case from 1989 as a community continues to search for answers about a missing girl, various suspects, and a potential connection to BTK. It's gone from, okay, we don't think something's quite right to... There's some worry going on now because now we've found some of her clothing. Listen to Paper Ghosts on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Car crash? Call Clausman. ClausmanLaw.com. That's K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio now comes with moving pictures. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. Hey, Jimmy. This is Mike the Bug Guy. Just wanted to let you know I've got one cat and two dogs, and the cat acts like the dogs. Um, not very affectionate, just wants to be left alone. Kind of like you're kind of the cat you would want. Later. Okay, hey, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> not very affectionate, kind of like you. <laughs> <laughs> and wants to be left alone. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. That's a talk back. You can leave one as well. Just get the iHeartRadio app. Once you get to go to Real Radio 104.1, use that little microphone and send it on down the line. Then Jack will play it if it's good. Sometimes if it's not, we play it. <laughs> yeah, Sometimes. Exactly. That's simple. Depends on how uh, slim the pickings are. Yeah, welcome back. I'm Jim. Deb, Jack, and Ross are here as well. So i got a question for you. This is according to UPI, the World News. They did a little study around the world to find out one of the most overrated tourist spots, right? Now, they did that for the entire world, and they did that for the U.S. Out of curiosity, guys, what do you think is the most <laughs> overrated tourist spot in the entire United States of America? And every single one of you know exactly what it is. I mean, know what it is. Orlando. You, no. Well, no, it's a specific thing. So in Orlando, you'd have to say, like, the eye. Or, oh. or like, you know, or something else, you know, some other, like, cheesy tourist spot. But it's one specific thing. For me, it was. Uh, this is countrywide. Yeah, this is in the U.S. I mean, they 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 did it for the world. Matter of fact, they said Stonehenge was one of the worst because it's overpriced and kind of boring once you get there. So that oh, like like oh. Stonehenge for England is their most overrated tourist area. Mount Rushmore. It's not Mount Rushmore. That's, that was going to be my guess. It's the Grand Canyon. It can't be. In no way, it's the Grand Canyon. Definitely not the Grand Canyon. Actually, you know, the funny thing is, is I haven't heard that about. Is it really overrated? I, I like, you've been cool. there. It's cool, and I, I, in fact, I kind of like the story more than the actual thing. But it's just when you go to Mount Rushmore, you're really far away. You're not as right. close as you want to be. So it looks smaller, and yet don't you? I mean, obviously, you can rent one of those telescope things or whatever it is, and look through it for like a quarter or whatever. I'm sure you can. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it was. I thought the the story and how much dynamite that was used. The people that died yeah, to yeah. make that piece of art. 
uh, there was a fair amount of debt. Like the room behind it. When you go behind there, there's like a yeah. room or something they it's carved in the mountain. Filled with government cheese. Yeah, uh, they, they originally, I, if I remember, God, it's been a while since I had a crash course history on the Mount Rushmore, but I believe there was also supposed to be a fifth face. Uh, that, And then they moved that fifth face, which was a Native American who I am forgetting the name. Like but, Geronimo? Or... But he also has a face in a mountain. Sitting bull? But yes. they took it away, I believe, from the presidents. Really? Yeah. Damn, I didn't know that. I did not know there was a, 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 a Native American chief that was supposed to be part of that as well. They are, but they're going to wait and see if they convert it to be Donald Trump. But they're going <laughs> to wait till November, see how that shakes Very out. Very good. <laughs> well, some others that made the list. Now, Deb, I don't know anything about this, but you do because you uh, were married to an Englishman. Uh, but Warwick Castle? Are you familiar with Warwick Castle? No. That was also considered very overrated. And that's they're basing this on how many people, you know, clicked on the website or you know, when they visited, they gave a response. That's a thousand people thought it was disappointing, expensive, and not worth it. What did you say for the US? I didn't say that yet. Oh, okay, okay. You had us guess and then you jumped to England. No, I'm just giving you some parallels of what it is so you so can Warwick get an idea Castle. what it would be. Oh. Warwick Castle's one? Graceland. You nailed it. That's exactly oh, what it yeah. is. Graceland is considered the United States' worst, most overrated tourist attraction. Oh, I'm sorry. They, and they're struggling already. And that, look, can this I tell can't you? be good news for them. And when you go by <laughs> it, you know exactly why. Have you ever been there? Yes, I have. It is, it's crazy. It really is. It's hard to, okay, so if you knew the impact that Elvis Presley had, and of course, I am 56, Jack is as well, Deb is 38, all right, oh, uh, Ross is 34, now, Jack and myself, and Deborah, of course, she <laughs> heard about this as well, but our parents were enamored with Elvis Presley. Mm-hmm. No way to explain it. There was, it. The phenomenon with Elvis was like the Michael Jackson thing on steroids because you could only see him occasionally. So every time this guy made a TV appearance or he did a concert, it was beyond belief, right? To think that that guy at one point lived in that house or where that is, if I remember right, not even two blocks from Graceland. Where the king of rock and roll lived, there is an old used tire shop. <laughs> it is just outside Memphis on a road that's now a four-lane road. You can assume at one time it was probably a two-lane road, mm-hmm. and that was rural. But it looks like a it, it it's not even like a mansion. It's it's kind of cheesy. Well, and the, it, the, the planes that, out that's front definitely how it's decorated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carp shag carpeting up the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tapestries and, and, the, and even the weirdest thing is, I mean, it has to be. Well, maybe not because there are a number of people who have passed away who are part of that. When you go out to New Mexico, uh, that's where I think Jesse James is buried. Yes, yeah, the, the Lincoln Park or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think Je- I think well, I, I, there's definitely he had a presence there. Yeah, there was yeah. also a couple other gunfighters that are buried in New, New Mexico because that was like you know one of the epicenters of that mm-hmm. entire scene that you read about from the uh, from the early 1800s as they were kind of forging west. Uh, been been but, through there on my horse many a time. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, good for you, buddy. Good for uh, you. The texting service did correct me. Uh, it's called Crazy Horse. The Crazy Horse oh. Memorial or uh, Mountain. It, it, I, I just remember being shocked when I showed up to Mount Rushmore and I was like, there's a fifth face? Yeah, yeah. There's a fifth face. There's a fifth face. It's not on the mountain with the four faces, but it is Right next to it, it's like right cool. around it, where you can't yeah. see it from that vantage like, point. You can, I'm if my memory serves me correct, I partied a while, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remember finding out that there was a Native American crazy horse memorial, and right. just thought like, whoa, woof, that's yeah, yeah. that's not on a, that's not going to be on a quarter anytime soon, is it? <laughs> no, no, no. And oh, it's I, I, Billy the Kid, who's in New Billy Mexico. Billy the Kid, that's it. Yeah. Thank you, tech service. Yeah, yeah. I have a picture of his grave. It's weird because they have to protect it from people looting it. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or going in there chipping off. It's the same thing with Jim Morrison back in the day. Remember that story? Mm-hmm. Uh, the lead singer of The Doors oh, from back yeah. in the day. They buried him here. But he's buried in, in France now. But they had to move his grave to an undisclosed area because fans were chipping off part of his gravestone uh, to take it home with them. Oh, it's full of graffiti. And yeah, just yeah, like yeah. Jimi Hendrix's headstone. Exactly. But over here where the Billy the Kid is, it's like through a uh, – they, they have a giant chain link like cage over it so you can't get in there. And it is not nice. Like it's not like they try to gussy it up. Uh, cause it's Billy the kid. I mean, it is basically a dusty old, like back lot of a, of a tourist attraction thing. And you walk back there, there he is. <laughs> one of the one of America's most famous, infamous gangsters is right there in this dusty ass lot and this dusty ass crappy place in New Mexico.
But when you read about that lore as a kid, it's like, you know. Oh, yeah. It, it's like the Transformers of today, reading about those old bank robbers and, and stuff. Did the Empire State Building make the list? No, in the U.S. it was it just, just showed us. It was just But is, is that considered a bad tourist attraction? No, I don't think so. No, I mean, it's fascinating. It's just, you know, it's interesting what your expectations are in 2024 versus right, right. You I, know, I, years ago. The one I know that is the worst. And, but I've never been into Graceland. We drove by it and saw it, and that was plenty for me. I felt like they owed me money for doing that. <laughs> but the worst one for me was the La Brea Tar Pits out in L.A. Yeah. That's terrible. Remember when we drove by that, Jack? Mm -hmm. We drove by it, and you're like, wow, the La Brea Tar Pits. And if you don't know, it's an area like in, almost like downtown Los Angeles where it's this bubbling area of natural tar and oil, right? Been around, what, since prehistoric times? Yeah. But what you don't realize, really? what they don't tell you is like, oh, my God. There are probably dinosaurs in the bottom of that. Oh, yeah. But you know what's there now? Oh, styrofoam cups and Walmart bags. <laughs> it's just littered with stuff oh. in, in the pit. So you go by and you're like, wow, it's supposed to be this majestic thing that you hear about from as a kid. Humanity. And it's, it's, just this, it's just this pit of trash trapped in tar. I was like, this sucks. <laughs> it's it's Florida has to be the state that has the most of these, though, right? Mm. Like, if you were to go through the states and find all the terrible tourist stops, Florida is the leader of these, right? These little roadside attractions that have been around oh, forever. I don't know. I think the world's largest ball of twine, some out but, where it west, would be. I get that, but thing is, for every one world's like biggest ball of twine, we have four like places that'll show you a gator and a snake that should never be able to show you a gator or a snake. <laughs> like, I mean, they never, ever, ever should allow you to walk through the doors with the people handling those animals. That's and, a good point. And just to clarify, I know I keep talking about Crazy Horse right now because I'm trying to figure out this memory because I remember seeing Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse in the same day. I, I thought I did, but I'm pretty sure it's about like 15, 20 miles apart from each other. Oh, really? So it's like... Not the same project, and that there was a lot of Native Americans. Just the, the whole story of Mount Rushmore is cooler than going to Mount Rushmore. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said that Niagara Falls is overrated. I would disagree with that. I would say this, though. The American side of Niagara Falls is awesome, majestic, very park-like. The Canadian side of Niagara Falls is what you would think that Carrot Top's bedroom looks like. <laughs> like it is, it is just a lot happening. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, it's I drive. Yeah, a lot of neon, a lot of Gatlinburg happening in there, you know? A lot of Ripley's, yeah, believe of, it or not. <laughs> a lot of wax museums. A lot of that. A lot of $9 lobster tails. I'm sure there's wow. a putt putt golf course. Oh, about 50 of them. But what, what isn't it though when you're. So the reason why is because though that the American side of Niagara, not the best view, if I remember. I think the Canadian no, is what, side is, is why there's all that tourist stuff yeah, because, is because you can see Niagara. You're 100% right because that one platform, when you walk out to the one viewing point on the American side, you kind of look right down the edge of the fall, like the fall line itself. So you don't get a, a real good perspective looking head on. But when you go to the Canadian side, not only can you do that, there's like a, um, a down downstream from the fall the water is really kind of crazy to watch because these eddies that are produced because of the speed of the water, and eddies like a little tornado in the water, by the way. Oh, um, learn something new. Yeah, yeah, E-D-D-Y. But the eddies that that water creates crosswords. are spooky. Like, you can take a cable car <laughs> that goes out over that, and you can look down, and you're looking down into a spinning 60-foot vortex Whoa. of boiling-ass water. And in the background, you have the Niagara Falls and all its majesty. What it's pretty mean? crazy. Oh, roiling or boil? Is it boiling? boiling like it's, like, it's, no, it's, it's hot. hot. It's no, not hot. No, boiling just means it's kind of turning and churning, yeah. you know? That's why I went for roiling. Okay, thank what, you. What Webster's were you reading? Yeah. <laughs> you and your Eddie. <laughs> well, my man said boiling means, you know, turning. I need spinning. a four-letter word for what does water, water tornado. What, what does water look like when it's boiling in the pot? It's just churning uh, it, it, it lots churns. of energy, right? right. It churns. I'll, there you go. I'm just saying, I I was like, man, I needed to go back to Niagara. I was yeah. not paying attention. I <laughs> you, remember it being cold as hell. You can pay to go down and behind it in these tunnels they've carved out and kind of go in behind the uh, the fall, which is kind of cool. And isn't there a story about like the whole like stereotype of a barrel? Oh yeah, no, you, they would put a they would a human would go in a barrel or something. The most insane part of the entire thing is this. Like, when you're walking along the edge of the Niagara Falls, on the American side, they've got the border that's, like, you know, boob high, right? You're like, oh, yeah, this is safe. You go to that Canadian side, it's got, like, they've got a couple solo cups up there to show you where not to walk. It is unbelievable. Like, these people in Canada really trust you.
Just yeah, a sign that says, watch your step, please. <laughs> my, my favorite thing about seeing all these massive national monuments, whether it be the Grand Canyon or Old Faithful or what we're talking about right now on Mount Rushmore and stuff, there's always an aspect, you know, back in the day, this is what they used to do. <laughs> and that's my favorite thing. When when you go to Old Faithful, you always have a guide going, you know, back in the day, they just throw anything down there. <laughs> yeah. You know, back in the day, they would just smoke stuff down there. They Like, I love how rules and regulations that we have to follow oh, is no. from previous generations going, I bet you I can do that. Oh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. Lighting their cigar with, uh, like, dynamite sticks. Yeah. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. They release this list every year, and we're going to read it again this year because it's so much fun. These are the rejected license plates from 2023 that people attempted to get in the state of Florida, and there's one that's going to murder Deb. I'll tell you what that is next. You're listening to Real Radio 104.1. Online at realradio.fm. On your phone with the free iHeartRadio app. And on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos. We are an iHeartRadio station. Afternoon delays reported all along I-4 right now as you travel east and westbound on the interstate between the Beach Line and 535, as well as between Osceola Parkway and US-27. Looking at some slow traffic as well now on the turnpike, both north and southbound near the Oakland Exchange exit and through Kissimmee. If you see traffic problems, make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by the new Banana Boat 360 coverage. This sun season, Banana Boat is giving you a new way to spray. Introducing new Banana Boat 360 coverage. Better control for better coverage with a reusable sprayer and refill. From sport formula to kids SPF 50 plus. Shop Banana Boat 360 coverage on Amazon. Jim Colbert Show question of the day brought to you by the Home Builders Network. Find them at hbnusa.com. That's Mike the Home Builder. That's the guy you want to be talking to when it comes time to doing stuff around the house, whether it's fixing your roof, maybe replacing a window, maybe replacing all your windows. How about a door, front door, back door? Who knows? Gutters, you need them? Make sure you get covers. Mike does it all, and that's the Home Builders Network. It's what they do. We're talking someone local, great installation, great quality, excellent service, all at a fair price. I had the Home Builders Network put a new roof on my home just one year ago. They did a fantastic job. See what they can do for you. You go to their website. It's hbnusa.com. That's hbnusa.com. Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at centomoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call mo.com. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorney. New South is Florida's factory direct window company. We manufacture, install, and guarantee your windows for life. One company, one call. Our windows blend energy performance with hurricane protection. New South Window, home of your ultimate Florida window. Buy more, save more. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Make your dream of a new paver's driveway, pool deck, beautiful patio, and artificial turf a reality with Pavers Depot. Join us at the largest paver showroom in Central Florida. Over 400,000 square feet in stock, including Temron brand pavers. Pavers Depot can get your job done in just two weeks with a free estimate on custom installation. Visit online at paversdepot.com or call 407-839-5900. 407-839-5900. Paversdepot.com. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In office Orlando. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance and luxury as we roll out the red carpet for the world's two largest bridal designers. Next weekend, March 15th through 17th, Takori and Viraggio will be here with their entire collections. Exceptional handcraft 
handcrafted rings made with intricate detail and craftsmanship. See the entire collection from Takori. Exquisite handcrafted rings from true artisans in California. And here from New York, see all the latest from Viragio. Unique, distinctive, and personalized. Find the ring of your dreams and enjoy two years zero interest financing. Plus, at this event, when you buy any Takori or Viragio ring, IDC will give you a $500 gift card. Buy the matching wedding band and get a $1,000 gift card. Don't miss this spectacular event featuring the most exclusive designers in bridal and let IDC's experts help you match up the most perfect diamond for the ring you'll fall in love with. It's happening next weekend, March 15th through 17th, exclusively at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations on approved credit. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like The Vinyl Experience. Just search Vinyl Experience and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. The World Poker Tour is taking over an entire Virgin Voyages luxury cruise ship for a week of sun, fun, and most of all, world-class poker tournaments. WPT Voyage departs from Miami on March 31st for six days at sea with a full slate of poker tournaments, including our $5,000 buy-in main tour event with a million-dollar guarantee. The adult-only cruise will stop in Grand Cayman and the Bahamas for golf, tennis and pickleball events. Cap and start at just $1,500 per person, so book yours today on WPTVoyage.com. iHeart Podcast Update. This week on your free iHeartRadio app. Math and Magic. Stories from the frontiers of marketing with Bob Pittman, Season 6. Join iHeart Media Chairman and CEO as he analyzes the math and magic of marketing, sitting down with today's most gifted disruptors. Marketing School, digital marketing and online marketing tips. Actionable digital marketing lessons learned through years of being in the trenches. Office Hours with Mike Stive. Mike sits down with the world's most important chief executives to answer your most pressing questions about leadership, career, and life. Hear these podcasts and more on your free iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Radio. 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 The Jim Colbert Show, streaming live on YouTube. Watch us talk. Jimmy, my wife got me into cats. I was always a dog person, hated cats, hated them. A rag doll is just like a big baby. They want to sit on you, they want to be held. Uh, they come when they're called, you have to do the uh, uh, same thing with a Norwegian forest cat. Big, fluff, baby, doll, sleeps at the foot of your bed, comes when they're called. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Best bumper sticker I ever saw. Said, tell your cat, I said, because <laughs> <laughs> it works. All right, 407 916 1041, text us 77031. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show right here on Real Radio. I am Jim, Deb is here. Hello. And Jack. What? And Ross as well. It's true. We'll have Ross thoughts at the top of the hour. Trivia coming up in about 20 minutes or so. Tom Segura tickets on the line. It's one of the last pair we have to join the guys in the suite for the big show coming up on March 14th. For Segura at the Kia Center, Jack and Deb and Scott Maxwell will be there. You can you can be there as well. Today and tomorrow will be the last pairs of tickets we have to join these guys. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, today we're giving away the penultimate pair. Yeah, very Ooh. nice. Yeah, I like that. Jack loves using that word, by the way. He loves <laughs> yeah. it. All right, 407-916-1041. So, license plates. <clears throat> They're a fun time. These are a fun time, by the way, because it's fun to see what people try to get through uh, to, you know, to kind of do their thing. And some of these are very benign and some of them, I don't understand how, I'll give you an example. This one was not allowed, right? It says, um, uh, this one was not allowed. Uh, R D K L L. 
Ride like hell? No, roadkill. Road. Oh, yeah, but why wouldn't they do that? Why wouldn't they? La- why wouldn't they allow R D K L L? Because the word kills in there, or uh, or is even implied? Don't know. Because it, it's a chance for the DMV to make you unhappy? Right. Maybe so. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> if you hit someone. Right, right. And right. then that photo yeah. exists. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Never thought of that. <laughs> Maybe you should open my mind a little bit. Yeah, now, and then, now and it's it clear. Says, it has that beautiful Florida and that orange, <laughs> orange. <laughs> Roadkill. Here's one you could understand would not make it, by the way. Zero FKS. Yep. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's definitely not going to make it through, right? Everybody understands that. Yeah, I yeah. tried. Right. And here's another one. I do not understand this. Xcon one, like it's just saying Xcon. Why would they? Why would they say that an Xcon couldn't put Xcon on their license plate? I don't know. People could feel it's intimidating. Really? I mean, you just kind of—that's your guess. Yeah, you find, yeah, it's a guess. Yeah, but uh, you know, you meet two people, you find out one's an Xcon. Are you a little more? Yeah, I'm cautious. Little, yeah, I'm a little more cautious. I sw- I, I changed my wallet to the front pocket. <laughs> And don't flip them off in yeah. traffic. How about this one? Uh, want some? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two. <laughs> he already has one on his first car, apparently. That didn't that make it approved. through. <laughs> Here's the one that I do not understand. This is the one that got me all day. It's W-N-E-A-U-X, as if to say, is it we know or we know? What is that? Why would that be? Why Wait, would they? Do it again. W N E A U X. So, in other words, it's the uh, like um, that spelling. The end of that is that Cajun spelling for the like bow, right? That, right. That spelling like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what that is. Why would they ban that? I don't know, but uh, hopefully, we're not getting in trouble. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I have no idea why that's that. Uh, a U X. I, I don't know. Why an auxiliary? I don't know what that means. Um. Oh, my God. Can't say that one on the air. And here's the one that got me, Deb. I thought it was just funny. Because you could just see a guy walking up to the office, right? right. Walking up there and uh, and going, you know, want to get me one of these personalized plates? <laughs> guy, and they're like, uh, yeah, sure, no problem. What can we do for you? Well, it's just one word. Yes, sir. Write it right down there. All right. Turd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's right. Turd. <laughs> and then he goes, with a U. <laughs> yeah, somebody tried to use turd uh, to get a license plate that said turd. Brilliant. Trooper, you can kind of understand that. You wouldn't yeah. want people to think that you're an actual officer. The MPG. Why would they do that? The MPG, which is miles per gallon, right? Yeah. Or is that is there another? Apparently, because with the. Yeah. Oh, so maybe they think it's like uh, somebody would think you're a dignitary of some sort? Like, no, I no, I don't think that's the reason. Yeah, what is MPG? MPG. Is that a thing, Ross? You're young. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, if you ask me what's MPG, I'm going to say miles, miles per, per gallon. gallon. No, I, no idea why that's blocked, and it doesn't give an explanation for what it is. It just, I think it's so, like a guessing game. I would think that it's just because it's maybe car affiliated. I like, I, I, I don't, I know that's a weird justification yeah. or reasoning, but if they have anything oh. that's like car, how about like this? on paper manufacturer? Maybe I don't know. How about this? How about in that? It's it's it is the word hemp is in the middle there. How did you just gloss over that? Because I, I, it has a space between it. It's spelled the and then a space M P G. But when you put it together, oh. it would be T hemp G. I don't know if that means anything, but hemp is in the middle there. Is that why they they threw it back? Uh, maybe it has to be. Oh, and people are texting us to let us know about the N U X. Yeah, why no? Oh, that's right. I was right there. Oh, so close. But, but again, why couldn't you put that? I mean, it's kind of funny and it's clever. Why couldn't you put wino on there? Well, I personally don't think I'd want someone running my tag going, oh, wino, huh? <laughs> well, you just, tell them, you just tell them it's wino. They don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that that's another thing that I'm like, all right, you know, driving, anything with driving and bad seems to get real sensitive. Because huh. a wino isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when you see a wino drinking... It can be. Oh, really? Oh, uh, driving okay. drunk? Oh, yeah, yeah, no question. I got that. But, I mean, you you, you having a license plate that says, says why no in a clever way doesn't mean you're driving drunk. I, I mean, get that. But they don't want, the government doesn't want to be affiliated with even oh, that possibility I, I gotcha. of sticking yeah. why no. Or, I got gotcha. you. Deputy Scott. Y- you glorifying it with your ha-ha funny humor. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's terrible. I'm sorry. Uh, this one is obviously understandable. S-X-Y time. 
Sexy, sexy time. time, baby. Sexy time, baby. <laughs> and here's the one I do not get. And this is the last one of all of them. I, again, I don't even know what this means, but why would you go up there and like, uh, hey, man, I want to get me another one of these plates. Yeah, I got my turd plate, and I'm looking to get another one. <laughs> yeah, so what can we do for you? Is uh, Squirtle available? <laughs> Squirtle. Squirtle. S-Q-U-R-T-L-E. Hell yeah. Squirtle. You know what that is? Somebody tried to get Squirtle. What yeah, is it? dude, Squirtle. What's Squirtle? Squirtle. What is it? Squirtle, Squirtle. You don't know about Squirtle. I don't know about Squirtle. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, come on now. Oh, Lord. What is Squirtle? What is that what? Squirtle? She doesn't know. Squirtle? Jack doesn't know. Jack Squirtle? He's trying to look it up so he knows. Mm-hmm. It's one of the three original Pokemon. Is it really? I was going there, but then I thought, isn't this something so, sexual? So why wouldn't they yeah, allow that? you had that? your chance. I gave everybody a chance. <laughs> yeah, you did. Hey, <laughs> Would they not allow that because of the implied? Trademark. Huh? Maybe trademark. Oh, yeah, maybe so. And also, they would be like, I'm not, <laughs> you know, that if if you don't know that it's one of the original Pokemon, you're like, I don't trust Squirtle. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Indeed, yeah, because I was thinking of something that was pretty yeah, nasty. Yeah, that, that so first, was I. That yeah. first syllable is kind of throwing me off. We're yeah. not going to approve this. Yeah. So I was going to get them both on one, but turd squirrels weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh. like, here's you, one. Get, you get the Squirtles, you got to go to the pharmacy. Yeah. <laughs> here's one that got rejected immediately. It's like, uh, oh, yeah, do you want to uh, get a personalized license plate? I sure do. Uh, what's it going to say? Are you high? <laughs> Are you high? Mm-hmm. Somebody expected to make it through with that. Someone texted us with one that I'm surprised actually made it. Which is? I, you're going to have to read it. Oh, why? But it's from our friend Deputy Scott. Buddy of mine had a lifted truck and his plate was? Be careful now. I know. Okay. Can we spell it out? <sighs> no. No. No, don't. Don't do it. This is one, but somebody's, uh, somebody just got this one. They want to say, say gay. But gay has two A's. Say gay. <laughs> Don't understand that one. Sex doc was one. No. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Sex A I'm, was one. I, I'm still, A lot of X's in that one. We've talked about this, and this was years ago. <laughs> so but I, I'm hearing all of these, and I still have no idea how my mom's oh. license plate was buck 69. <laughs> <laughs> I currently am holding it. By the it. way, if you go to jimcoverlive.com, it's an actual license plate. Yes, this it is. is. Real. This is a real license plate. With, your, with the golfer in the middle. Golfer in the middle. A tag expired. 10, 6, 10. This was 14 years ago when my mom walked into a DMV and went buck 69. <laughs> and then the DMV person went... What? <laughs> well, apparently she had a good answer to that because we just got a text that said they used to work at a DMV. You have to also put the reason in or definition of your plate. So oh. she's guessing some of these people put dumb responses oh. for that, and that's why they got denied. Right, right, right. Back to Kathy Paget must have had a really good answer for that question. Okay. <laughs> that's still the funniest. It's my golf score. <laughs> my golf be- score. That's the best that's part. she keeps telling us. Yeah, exactly. So no, my- no, it's a good golf score is what she says. Not yeah. hers because she hit a 67 once, uh, Yeah, right? my mom shot a 67, so it's not even like a personal thing. My mom went with Buck 69 as her license plate for years. That is years. <laughs> because Buck was the name of one of our dogs, and 69, and to quote Jack, Who's quoting my mom? Sixty nine is a good golf score, <laughs> not her lowest, not her lowest. And I still think about that once a week. <laughs> Why wouldn't you go with your lowest score? Why would you not? Sixty nine's funnier. Yeah, but she just thought, no. Well, breaking seventy is a big deal. Maybe she's got a secret life you don't know about. But, dude. Yeah, you know, you know. And then I remember maybe she likes a party. I remember when she told me that she goes, "Well, breaking seventy is a big deal. If you don't know golf, breaking seventy is, is a, a massive goal. deal." But you know what? One percent of players do it. You know what's a bigger deal than breaking seventy? Breaking sixty nine. Yeah. You know what's a bigger deal than breaking sixty eight? The numbers go south. Your best score is sixty seven. Why didn't she go with sixty seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or what, five under or and now something. I, now she would pick me up from soccer practice and all my friends are like, dude, whoa. <laughs> and I'm like, she's, I, I, she's not, I promise. <laughs> That's not what she does. Somebody tried to get the license plate sharded. Nice. Uh, <laughs> somebody tried to get the license plate skid M K S. Skid marks. Oh. Uh, somebody tried to get slow mofo, S L O M O F O. Somebody tried to get salty AF. Oh, right. I would love that. Somebody tried to get quick AF. Somebody tried to get that. I mean, you can see that like race cars have have this kind of stupid stuff all the time. I'm sure there's a lot of AFs that got turned uh, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh, PSA. Oh, oh no, I can't say that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, you know, one has Playboy, but instead of saying the, uh, instead of spelling it out, it's P one four Y and then B O Y. So you can't, it doesn't say play outright. Yeah. But they tried to get away with it, and they're way too clever over there at the DMV. <laughs> you can't get past them. No, Num Nut was one. That's kind of a funny one. <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. And, and now when I think about it, dude, poor vanity license plates just run in my family because my brother also had a terrible vanity license plate. Which was? Said six string, but the six looks exactly like a G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. The six and the G are about one inch of green font and as you away get, from being the same string. thing. The funny part of that is, is you can see a trucker cruising on the highway. <laughs> he comes up behind and goes, oh, G-string, hell yeah, player, here we go. Uh, uh, pull up beside him, and there's Chase. Yeah. <laughs> there's Chase. I, I have, they, they made triple hung. Uh, uh, uh. I have been in the car with him at red lights, and he's going, no, it's six string. <laughs> he has confronted people at, and, like, communicated. <laughs> yeah. Like, because they will talk to him like, dude, how, how'd you get that? Yeah, that's so great. It's, it's, it says six string. It's, it's, I, I bet he uh, couldn't uh, wait to replace I, I play guitar. Yeah. Yeah, I like a G string? Uh, yeah, I like guitar. Uh, Right. So funny. Bolger, I will never get a vanity license. Yeah, plan. never, I, ever I, in a million I, I years. I can't sign, I can't dedicate money towards that much of an aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. It would be, I, I mean, I guess it would probably be something with the show. I it, mean, it you know, would, JCS1 or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, JCS1. Yeah, or, you know, JCS1041, maybe something like that. Uh, Eagle. No, I'd never get that. Not yeah. No, oh, never. Yeah, dude, you get never, a little, never in a million years would I do that. Eagle 1 over and out. Jack could just get Shaw. B Shaw, B Shaw. I'm gonna get M U V, it B C H. Move your Move, bitch. Your... <laughs> get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. What would you get? Yeah, man, like sauce. Oh, I would God. probably get like it's sauce. So lame. I don't know. Bradshaw would get Aldi number one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aldi number one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Aldi one is great. I heart Aldi. Aldi one. <laughs> Aldi one. There Aldi we go. One. Aldi one. <laughs> Jack, Jack is the Aldi king. <laughs> Smartest guy in the, in the bunch, by the way. Without a doubt, man. Oh, my God. They're Jack, getting ready to expand. Jack laughs at us every time he cashes out, and we're he's like $70 cheaper than us. <laughs> yeah. What? Taxi service goes Ross. You really, really need to find out who Buck is. <laughs> we both thought the same thing, man. We both thought the same it thing. It's taken me 20 who plus is Buck? years. Buck who is the rem- name of the dog. Is the name of a dog that we had. Or maybe yeah. my mom was just maybe keeping he, a secret. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who named maybe, the dog? Maybe it's the apartment yeah. super. Yeah. She named the dog. Right. After... Another buck? Some Ooh. guy who's wearing boots at a bar. Uh-huh. Well, you know, buck is just yeah. one word, one yeah, yeah. letter away. <laughs> right, exactly. All right, 407 uh, 916 She's still a woman with needs, Text Jack. us to 77031. <laughs> Load them up for trivia, guys. Tom Segura tickets in a suite with the guys from the show. We'll give those away next here on the Jim Colbert Show. We have a prize. Get on board at 407-916-1041. Jim Colbert Show Trivia is brought to you by Cento Family Moving and Storage. That's C-E-N-T-O moving.com. This is three-time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. Indiana men's basketball coach Mike Woodson will stay with the program amid the Hoosiers' worst season in his tenure. Stetson, they'll try to keep their run through the A-Sun basketball tournament going tonight. They'll take on Jacksonville in the semifinals. And Justin Lauer and Hideki Matsuyama share the clubhouse lead in round one of the Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill. They're both 500 par. I'm Scott Davidson. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4 6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. It's time to fall in love with your home all over again with new windows from Renewal by Anderson. And Renewal by Anderson couldn't make the process any easier for you. First, just give them a call. Visit rbafla.com or stop by their beautiful showroom off Lee Road in Winter Park to schedule a free in-home consultation. Then they're going to meet in the comfort of your home at a time that's convenient for you so the design consultants from Renewal by Anderson can see exactly what the vision is for your home. 
Lastly, sit back and relax because you've chosen a company that can handle your replacement project from start to finish. Get started now. During the month of March, buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC1527613. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. Cracked or worn out bottom rubbers and seals expose your garage door to bugs and other pests, dirt, debris, and cold air. A1 Garage Door Service can replace old bottom rubber and seals in no time. And don't forget about all the moving parts of a garage door system. Wheels get old, cables fray, grease runs out, and tracks move, putting excessive wear and tear on your garage door system. Don't wait until there's a problem. Call A1 Garage Door Service for all of your garage door needs. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. Because the garage door is the smile of your home, don't wait. Call A1 Garage Door Service and you'll be smiling today. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. Fine. What's your problem, then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-canceling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose and repair your electric panel, and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Are allergies holding you back? Take control with Aspire Allergy and Sinus, your one-stop solution for a breath of fresh air. Our expert team offers comprehensive allergy testing and cutting-edge treatments so you can enjoy life without the hassles of sneezing and sniffles. Say goodbye to allergy and sinus struggles and hello to a healthier, happier you. Go to AspireAllergy.com today to ditch those temporary fixes and schedule your appointment. That's AspireAllergy.com. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up! And call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single line 1, 5, and 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 2024. International Diamond Center invites you to step into a world of elegance and luxury as we roll out the red carpet for the world's two largest bridal designers. Next weekend, March 15th through 17th, Takori and Viragio will be here with their entire collections. Exceptional handcrafted rings made with intricate detail and craftsmanship. See the entire collection from Takori. Exquisite handcrafted rings from true artisans in California. And here from New York, see all the latest from Viragio. Unique, distinctive, and personalized. Find the ring of your dreams and enjoy two years zero interest financing. Plus, at this event, when you buy any Takori or Viragio ring, IDC will give you a $500 gift card. Buy the matching wedding band and get a $1,000 gift card. Don't miss this spectacular event featuring the most exclusive designers in bridal. And let IDC's expert help you match up the most perfect diamond for the ring you'll fall in love with. It's happening next weekend, March 15th through 17th, exclusively at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations on approved credit. Join us Monday night for our 2024 iHeart Podcast Awards. Presented by the Hartford, live at South by Southwest. We'll honor the very best in podcasting from the past year and celebrate the most innovative talent and creators in the industry. Listen Monday night, starting at 11 p.m. right here. 
presented by the Hartford Small Business Insurance. Learn more or start a quote at thehartford.com slash small business. With insurance designed for your small business, the bucks got your back. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. There's only one place to watch this nonsense at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, if I can take a bottle of wine to go from Wine Bar George, and you can drink everywhere around Disney Springs, does that mean I'll get judged less if I just walk around with an open bottle of wine? You know, I don't know if you will or not, buddy. That's a good question. Though. I mean, if you're just walking around with a bottle of wine, you're going to get judged regardless. Oh, yeah. I don't care if it's a good bottle. Well, unless it has a straw in it, because yeah, that right. looks like you're trying to be responsible. Really have a good time. And, and if you do, for some strange reason, like, unbutton your tie, grab the button, yeah. and now you look like you're fresh out of a wedding. Right, yeah. You or, know? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. you just lost everything gambling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and walk a little side to side. Put right. a little yeah. straight yeah. in your Make stuff. yourself dangerous. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Welcome back. I'm Jim. Deb is right there. Hello. Jack is here as well. Oh, I am. And Ross has the sauce jar. Let's get it. Y'all aboard! Chugga chugga. Choo-choo! Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. A pair of sweet tickets sits at the bottom of the sauce jar. A pair of sweet tickets to see Tom Segura at the Kia Yay. Center. We just talked to him yesterday. It was pretty cool. Center. Uh, this is going down at the Kia Center March 14th with members, of course, of the very show that you're listening to right now. Jack, Deb, Scott Maxwell. It's all going down in the suite. And that is your sauce jar, which is always brought to you by... Cento Family Moving and Storage. Hey, are you like Jimmy and you've got a move coming up? We'll call them. They can handle it. Local, long-distance, residential, or commercial. Mm. Just make sure you mention the Jim Colbert Show because that's going to get you a discount. Book them today at CentoMoving.com. That's C-E-N-T-O. Moving.com. God bless you on your move. Back to you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ross, who's first today, buddy? Let's. Oh, man. We've got to talk about this. Jim, do you see anything? Do you see anything different about those false? It's all ladies today. First time. Wow. Since we went full-time, part-time ever that we've had all women on for trivia. I love that, man. That's great. So let's welcome ladies first, Holly. Holly right there on line three. Holly, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys? You are doing great, Holly. Good to hear from you. Would you like to play a little game with us? I would. Let's do it then. We want to play a game. All right, Holly, this is a very easy game. Got a question here for you. Four answers. One of these answers, Holly, I made up. It's a lie. If you can find that one, I will send you to the sauce jar and, of course, off to the Kia Center with the boys and girls to see Tom Segura on March 14th. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. It's National Cereal Day. I love you guys. National Cereal Day. Here are three fun facts about breakfast cereal and one sugary bowl of milk of a lie. Number one, the word cereal originates from the Roman goddess of agriculture and harvest, Ceres. Number two, the U.S. ranks fourth in global cereal consumption. The United Kingdom, Canada, and Australia lead the way. Number three, breakfast cereal was the first product to print the nutrition information on the packaging. Or lastly, cereal is the most popular item sold in American grocery stores. Milk and soda are one and two, respectfully. Which of those is a lie? Oh, I'm going to go with the USA being number four, which I think is number two. Yeah, unfortunately, that is correct. I'm sorry. Oh, Oh, sorry, Holly. The U.S. ranks fourth in global cereal consumption, beaten by the U.K., Canada, and Australia. Ross, who's next? One of my favorite things about doing trivia is sometimes a caller will call in about our previous topic. Okay. okay. But they actually get a line for trivia, and That's they're great. like, oh, my God. Yeah, no, I'll take it. Let's welcome Jane. Jane right there on line two. Jane, how you doing? Good, good. I'm, I'm excited to be on the phone with well, you. Well, thank you. We're excited to have you. We're talking about breakfast cereal today. Which of these is a lie? Number one, the word cereal originates from the Roman goddess of agriculture and harvest, Ceres. Number two, breakfast cereal was the first product to print the nutrition information on the packaging. Or lastly, cereal is the third most popular item sold in American grocery stores. Milk and soda are one and two, respectfully. I'm going to say number one. No, that's true. The word cereal does come 
from the Roman goddess of agriculture and harvest, Ceres. C-E-R-E-S. All right, Puzzle Master, you're on one. I, I would have been shocked if you made that up. Yeah, that, <laughs> if you've been, that you've been that that's how line. you know. <laughs> <laughs> if that was your lie, I was like, man, I'll drop Ceres. All right, let's go with uh, the last two people. Their name's Ryan. Let's go with Tracy. Tracy, right up top. Tracy, how you doing? Good. How are you guys? Doing great. We're talking about breakfast cereal, Tracy. You have a 50-50 shot to join the guys for Tom Segura coming up March 14th. Are you ready? Ready. Here we go. We're talking about breakfast cereal. Number one, breakfast cereal is the first product to print the nutrition information on the packaging. Or lastly, cereal is the third most popular item sold in American grocery stores. Milk and soda are one and two, respectfully. I'm going to go with number two. No, that's true. Really? Absolutely true. Cereal is the third most popular thing purchased in American grocery stores, only beaten by milk and soda. And lastly is Marcy. Marcy, how you doing? Oh, I'm so good. You are so good, Marcy. <laughs> Marcy, is this true? <laughs> Breakfast cereal was the first product to print the information, the nutrition information on the packaging. Jim, that is a lie. That is a lie. <laughs> you are going to the have a good time. You're going to have a good time with the guys. I think you're going to have a, yes, a blast. Baby. Thanks, Marcy. All right. Hey, get him in oh. a fight. All right. We'll see you. No. <laughs> get him in a fight. No stage diving, Mars. Oh, I no, don't know. It no. sounds like she and I are going to have a good time. No flashing, no rushing the stage. Aww. All right. Very good. It's a comedy show. Now, the interesting thing about the packaging is this. And I looked this up to verify it, and it was a little sketchy. When do you believe it became mandatory? For food companies in the United States to print the nutritional information on the packaging. When did it become mandatory? The some, 80s. Some, yeah, com was... some companies did it on their own, but it became mandatory in what year? 84. 83. You, you were shocked by it, so I'll go 92. 1990 is the answer. Whoa. 93 is when most of it was in was was um, kind of introduced, and by 93, everybody had kind of acclimated to the new thing. Now, the reason I think that's weird is I looked up an old box of Kraft Macaroni and Cheese from the 87, and it did have the nutritional information on there. But what I read was is they put that on there because then they can claim, look at the vitamins and minerals that we're giving you in there as well. And you know, the sodium count really wasn't a thing back in the day. It wasn't right. like a – so they would do that. And they would do that, uh, and it didn't – it wasn't even mandatory until – they did it up into the 60s. You didn't have to have anything. Like you just put whatever you want on the box until 70, I believe, is when people started kind of doing it just to put it on there. And then in the 90s, it was mandatory. So I just love that. That goes underneath the category of finding out what previous generations did for us to deal with nutritional facts. Right, like right. I had somewhat, something went south somewhere they, in the 50s, 60s, or 70s for this to all of a sudden be mandated. And you're right. In the early days, they printed it as a marketing thing. Like, look at here. We're giving you, you know, twice the recommend, recommended daily allowance of uh, vitamin D or vitamin B. I'm sure it had or, to do with the obesity rates as it started to rise. Food companies are like, all right, all right, all right. What are you putting in there? <laughs> right, exactly. we'll, we'll care a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a few other things you may not know about breakfast cereal before we get over to Ross' thoughts. By the way, Puzzle Master. Oh, Puzzle Master, dude. Is, are you four for four? I think I may be four for four this week, guys. This is an all-timer. I'm on one. Tomorrow, I'm, like Rick, I'm like Rick Ross in this bitch. Tomorrow is your master's Sunday. It is. You better wear red. <laughs> All right. The most eaten cereal in the world is? Cheerios. Is the answer. By far. It's not even close. Because think of, I mean, what parent? I mean, Cheerios is like yeah, one of the it. first things you give your well, kids for a snack. It is. It is one of the best. And you'll it's do this. It's got that hole so they don't choke. That's right. right. Exactly. <laughs> it is one of the, I mean, you a will buy. A little finger food. In your life, you will buy a whole bunch of Cheerios, boss. Yeah, I mean, the, the kids love them. You'll put them in little bags, send them to school. Is it all right, though, if I go honey nut on my you Cheerios? You can honey nut them. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll like Just that. Just as bonus points, what were they originally called? It's similar. Uh, happy honey O's. O honey O's? It's Cherry Oats. Oh. Was the original name Cherry Oats? Happy O's would have been cool yeah. too. They're just positive <laughs> vowel. How many Facebook groups are dedicated to Rice Krispies? Ooh. How many Facebook groups <laughs> are there dedicated to Rice Krispies? Eight hundred. Right, Rice Krispie treats. No, the cereal Rice Krispies. Okay, all right. Oh, wow. he said eight hundred. Yeah, three hundred and four. I'll go. 1,400. Deb's a winner, 239. Wow. 239 Facebook pages dedicated to Rice Krispies. <laughs> Let me say that again. <laughs> Kellogg's was the first company to advertise where? Indonesia. That's, That's a great television. That's a really good guess. 
a little bit more, a little less, less. The internet. Yeah, Times Square billboard. That oh, one at wow. Times Square, that big one that would play. If Kellogg's was the very first company, Corn Flakes ad wow. went up there. And then lastly here, a bushel of wheat can produce about how many boxes of cereal? One bushel of wheat can produce about how many boxes of cereal? 400. Uh, 210. 700. 53 is the answer. Oh, yeah, wow. There you go. There you go. All right, there you go. Cereal. Pretty interesting today, I think. I love Cheerios. I frosted, I yeah. honey nut, OG. I'm a big fan of breakfast cereal. You know, ice that, cold milk. I'm a big fan of it. And now when I think about it, all foods that have a hole in it, I kind of like. Yeah, okay, very good. Donuts, Cheerios, mm-hmm. Spaghettios, anything yeah, with a hole. Ba- bagels. Food wise. All right, very good. I've been known to devour. Nice. Calamari? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sorry, uh, I was uh, thinking about calamari. I guess <laughs> that is, yeah, that is yeah, more yeah, so. loops than anything. Thoughts? R- Ross thoughts. Um, I found out the gender of my child. Oh! Your 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Heavy traffic continues on I-4 in the Orlando area this afternoon, both east and westbound by the major attractions exits. A serious accident reported northbound on the 429 has blocked all northbound lanes on the toll road just before the 192 exit. Traffic is currently being diverted off and being forced to turn back southbound, so avoid this area if you can during your afternoon commute. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Staples Store. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4 6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. Man, if you're a planner, take my word for it. Get with Mills Air right now and book your appointment to get your preventive maintenance plan from Mills Air. Do it right now. Here's why. The heat's coming. And when it comes this year, last year was the hottest year on record. February was the hottest year ever or hottest February. It's month after month. We're setting heat records. Be ready for that heat this year. Do not wait because here's the problem. If you wait, everybody's going to get in line and you're going to get pushed back. Don't do that. Mills Air is ready to help you right now. Make sure your AC is ready to go. Let them use that 30 plus years of experience here in Central Florida to make sure your AC does not quit on you this summer. Let 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 them let you know if it's healthy enough to make it through the summer. Their techs can service all the brands. You don't have to worry about what you have out there. But look, if it's about to give up the ghost and you do need a new AC, these guys are carrier factory authorized dealers. That could get you up to $1,275 in rebates towards that brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier, and you can certainly turn to the experts at Mills Air. These guys are family owned and operated and ready to help you today. Give them a call. 407 407- 277-1159. Online, make your appointment there at millsair.com. This is Steve Kramer. Let me tell you a business secret. There are sketch companies out there selling awards. Make sure the awards earned by your lawyer are from respected organizations. At Trendley Kramer Law, our lawyers have been recognized by Orlando Magazine Best Lawyers, Florida Trend Legal Elite, Super Lawyers, and listed in U.S. News as a best law firm for years. We've earned the awards that can't be bought. Trendley Kramer, TK Law, one firm for life. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. Let's spread the word this month and save some lives with proactive health care. We do that with Life Imaging FLA's free heart scan. I go personally try to get 50 friends and family over there. Started with my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and here's why. The testimonials coming out are simply amazing. People's lives are being saved, and it's a simple approach to proactive health care. Don't wait till there's a problem. Learn beforehand. You can do that with this scan, and then take that information to your primary care doctor and build that that life plan. There are no dyes with this test. There are no injections. You don't have to take off your clothes. It only takes a few minutes. Take control and call Life Imaging FLA today. Get that free heart scan. Again, just a few minimum requirements and it is a $699 value. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250 and say the keyword free heart scan. That's it. Pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make 2024 the year you take care of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message 
message from my heart media. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Ah, winter. With its cold, dry air causing that not-so-nice winter nose feeling. Thankfully, you don't have to wait for warmer weather to clear sinus congestion and send winter nose packing. All you need is Navaj Nasal Care. Navage helps soothe the inflamed nasal passages that are often part of colds and infections. It flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your sinuses to give you the soothing moisture you need. Navage also sucks out the other irritants trapped in your nose. Viruses, dust, bacteria, and germs, too. Winter might feel like it drags on forever, but Navage works quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. No decongestants required. Navage is a drug-free solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navage today and make winter a little more bearable. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. It's the Marketer's Report. Today, Capital One's Chief Brand Officer, Mark Mentry, weighs in on building loyalty with customers. Capital One has really worked to create amazing access moments for our customers anywhere from when we have a live event there be customer events ahead of that we will do sound check parties that only capital one card holders can get access to and we can't pull that off without the relationship iheart has with the artists with venues to create these really exclusive events festivals that iheart puts on gives capital one the ability to to create those moments people are passionate about their favorite artists and so we try to tap into that together as the number one audio company iheart media gives marketers access to all from national to local every audience live conversations trusted influencers and the insights and data you need to grow not just a media company iheart media is your access company if you're a marketer go to iheartresults.com Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. The hit true crime podcast, Paper Ghosts, is back with a haunting mystery in the shadows of the Ozarks. Season 4 unravels a darkly intriguing cold case from 1989 as a community continues to search for answers about a missing girl, various suspects, and a potential connection to BTK. It's gone from, okay, we don't think something's quite right, to there's some worry going on now because now we've found some of her clothing. Listen to Paper Ghosts on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. New South Window Solutions. Made in Florida for Florida homes by Florida workers. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKSFM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio iHeart Radio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Are you offended? Obviously, we're only kidding. You're listening to the Jim Colbert Show. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Just okay, eight coming up soon. Get your tickets, realradio.fm slash just okay. There you go. Uh, coming up soon, and it's crazy if you have yet to be one of these shows for the new Chunky, one of these Just Okay shows, and you like stuff that's like out of the box, you maybe should join in on this, because they get a little bananas over there. <laughs> yeah. All right, welcome back. I'm Jim. Deb is here. Hello. Jack. Whoa. And Ross has some thoughts. Let's get them. It's weird. It's unreal. It's funny. Tastes different. Sometimes. Food is different. It's Ross. Spelled like sauce. It's Ross Thoughts. So if you're just joining, my wife is pregnant, she's super pregnant, and I'm super married to her, which means I'm going to have a kid allegedly on September 6th. Once again, don't be five days late. What we... <laughs> oh, yeah, please. Uh, uh, I, sea lanes, brother. Yeah, yeah. I found out on Christmas night. She found out on Christmas morning, and uh, I was telling my friend that we are... My wife is having such a different experience than I am of course I'm not housing this thing I'm not the vessel 
I, I, I'm not, not the pod. I'm not the one uncomfortable at three, four, five in the morning struggling to go to sleep in a first trimester. Yeah. You know, I'm not the, the so your hormones are going off like a popcorn machine. Yeah, yeah. So happy, it, sad, happy, sad, hate you, love you. So now that you know that I am about three months in, uh not even, yeah. Close to three months in with a, a pregnant wife. My wife has basically kind of had a subconscious interaction uh, with our child, I think, every second of every day. I, I've seen her hands change from going from by her side to all of a sudden usually Resting always on, belly, yeah. on the belly. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't have that. But I, what I do have is that I have four amazing Perfect interactions thus far. I found out on Christmas that was the first time I felt what I am going to be feeling for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, the second time uh, was the sonogram. Mm -hmm. And the sonogram... I, the, the verification of. Verification of seeing the heartbeat, seeing... Do a little 360 and some fluid. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so. And wave at you. Oh, yeah. Wave. Heart flipping a three set. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. It was just so... That to date, uh, what is now the second best day of my life. Okay. Um, and then uh, the, uh, another interaction. The this no longer chronological order, but the third interaction was actually this morning. I heard my child's heartbeat for the first time. Wow! Oh, really? Wow! Mm. Uh, now is that a doctor's appointment, or did you just kind of listen in? Uh, no, I just just crashed in. I said, "Now!" <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, Get a we, glass? Had, we had an appointment. Uh, weeks. We're shout out to my wife. She's been taking care of like she's destroying this. Yeah, yeah. She's doing so well when it comes to appointments, and I got to see a doctor's face. Find out that we've already toured plenty of facilities where the birth is going to happen and she was shocked because we are months prepared yeah, yeah. early. Oh yeah, man. We're doing our Way best. Way ahead of the game. But I didn't right I didn't tell you the fourth interaction, the fourth interaction that I've had with my kid uh and by far uh the heaviest was finding out the result of I think it's called the NIPS test. All right. NIP test. I like that. It's an acronym. Yeah. It's an acronym. Yeah, yeah. It's not like that's how they do the test. Right, right, right. <laughs> but uh, it's they take a ton of blood. I think it was like eight vials of blood. Good God. And that happened like three weeks ago. Are they building another of her? Yeah, <laughs> right? It's a clone. Uh, kind of. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 now yeah, yeah. when I think about yeah, yeah. it, <laughs> yeah, they're building half of one of her. Yeah. Uh, and I find out yesterday, my wife texted me and she goes, the results are in. I'm waiting for you to get back home. So I get is, back home. Is it like in an envelope and you slowly slide it up? Or? You know, this is how 2024, 2024 <laughs> is. It's an email, Jimmy. It's an email. However, you click on that and it brings you to this wonderful website, beautiful interface. It's very innocent. It's very pure. And the first thing you click on is to see if there's any chromosomal abnormalities. Right, yes. And that, that would, that's the hardest click I've ever clicked clicked in now, my life. Now, let me ask, because I want to make sure I have this right. Is that the test for Down syndrome? Yeah, that's okay. the test for not just Down syndrome, but... Spina bifida. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, spina bifida, I believe, is a little bit late, but I think they can still tell a little bit, but there's still... Spina bifida is a little bit different a little in the later. timeline. Yeah, but uh, when you click on... When I clicked on that link, I, I kind of realized that the second link I'm going to click really didn't matter that much anymore. That second link, of course, revealing the gender right. of, but that first click, I immediately felt something that I have never felt, uh, which was this type of relief that I didn't know that I had inside of me when I get those results back, and it's two thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, baby's healthy, everything's baby's fine. Baby's healthy, and uh, that was a breath of air that has never left my body faster. <sighs> right. It was that I'll never forget that moment. And the oddity is, just before this, it would have been a negative pregnancy okay. test. <laughs> yeah, 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 right, right. This is, ain't that. This whole thing's been a roller coaster, and I don't know if we're going up, down, if we've just been taking a left this whole time. I, I have no idea. And then you click on that second link. It's not exactly an email. It's a kind of really cute. Uh, it's a video that's made off of like Adobe stock Premiere 
you know, cuts. Oh, they just kind of plug it in, and it's like a reveal thing it's, the it's hospital a has? It's a video. They have their girl video. I'm assuming they have their boy video. I am assuming that they don't have too much of a difference. And I really hope that you guys took that bait because it's a boy. The, the drum roll uh, reveals in the video a box opens up, a bunch of blue balloons opens up, and it, and it says boy. Um, I I can't. It's tough. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's uh, that's This is where I knew that this part of this segment would happen. Um, happiness, absolutely, of course. But terrified? I was terrified. I, it, it, not, it was still the same level of uh, fear of having a daughter than a son. At least for me, I haven't. I don't know what the difference is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, for the first time in a long time, long, long time, I got it. I got a little upset at somebody that I haven't been upset with since I was twelve. Yeah, and that was my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, seeing boy on that screen. Let off something inside of me that made me go and just I I wanted to tell him yeah 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 and it and it's it's unfortunate and I and I really do feel that if it said girl I don't think I have that response yeah but I know exactly what you mean it it is it it's weird feeling that I'm going to have a son and I'm going to be a dad but also simultaneously not forgetting or at least convincing myself that. I don't think I had one. Yeah. I, I I don't. He never taught me how to teach girls. So how am I going to teach somebody how to talk to girls? Right. Or how? And and then that really dominated me for the next thirty minutes after finding out that there's going to be a little Ross. And are I, you ready for that? And I and I think about that and I go, me as a child, I was I got kicked out of school. I'm so happy I got kicked out of school at seventh grade and not getting in trouble when I was 25. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the number one thing that I absolutely, after seeing Boy, need, I'll die happy if this happens. I need to meet this, this little dude at 25 years old. I need to see him as an adult because I, I I, that's the number one thing about losing a parent, losing a dad young is – it gets, I think, a little worse in some ways the older you get because you you never, he never got to meet you. Right, yeah, yeah. He never, I, he never saw me tell the joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's never seen me become an adult. And uh, I'll, I'll do, I, I've never experienced that level of commitment, but I will do everything that I possibly can to meet uh, this 25-year-old little. Oh, you'll be there, buddy. Me, me and Olivia. You'll be there. No worries whatsoever. Name? Uh, Not yet. Hey. It's all uh, we're juggling. Yeah. Having a boy, the test has a ninety-nine point six percent chance hit rate. You're so you're telling a me there's a there's chance. A chance. <laughs> so, but the room is going to be all blue except for one pink pillow, <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Uh, How did it, Olivia react to that? Uh, you know, I. How did the entire family react to it? Your mom, uh, I, Care Bear. I, I, I could. I think the best response that I've gotten to experience off of hearing the news of that it's a, a boy is my my wife's grandma. I guess my grandma-in-law, the yeah. only grandma <laughs> that me and her both have. So yeah, yeah. she's a very special individual. And hearing a, I believe, ninety-six-year-old explain uh, what having a boy meant to her and what having a boy meant to the family, and she also brought up. About uh, you know, it, we talked about daughters as well, but of course the the main topic was what it's like having a son. Yeah, and uh, now you have someone to carry on your your family legacy. I, I, mean, I don't I don't know how important that is to you, uh, but but and, and I know that you do have a brother, but I I, I, your brother doesn't. And I'm no disrespect to him, but he doesn't seem like I, the I, kind that would be you know thinking about maybe having a child anytime soon. Yeah, um, so you are the you're the one that now it's cool to pass that little torch. Cause, That's right, buddy. Yeah, it's uh, just me and Chase when it comes to the last name Pageant, and it's cool to see uh, a chapter two. Oh God, it's unreal. It is unreal. That's so cool. And that is so cool. It's also 
Your Ross thoughts. I'm out. Peace. All right. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Back in just one sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Heavy traffic continues on I-4 in the Orlando area this afternoon, both east and westbound by the major attractions exits. A serious accident reported northbound on the 429 has blocked all northbound lanes on the toll road just before the 192 exit. Traffic is currently being diverted off and being forced to turn back southbound, so avoid this area if you can during your afternoon commute. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Bonus savings on top brands and better sleep are all the buzz at Mattress Firm's friends and family sale. Hurry in to save up to $700 with your extra discount. You'll even get a free adjustable base on select beds. Plus, if you see a lower price, Mattress Firm will match it. Restrictions apply. Make the most of your spring break. Visit the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex is the only place where you can meet an astronaut, maybe touch a moon rock, stand nose-to-nose with the real Space Shuttle Atlantis, plenty more, launch into bold new territories this spring at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, and you can do it at a down-to-earth price, of course. Blast off this spring. Make that vacation the best at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. It is an out-of-this-world experience. Everybody on the show loves it. Everybody loves it. It's so much fun. And even better, you can take advantage of this new two-day ticket offer, costing less than four. $45 per day, but offering maximum flexibility to the entire family. Do it today. Visit the Kennedy Space Center.com for more tickets and info. Whitney Cummings presents the Big Baby Tour 2024. I'm sorry that the appropriate age for women to get pregnant in the medical community is at prom in a toilet. Hard Rock Live, Friday, November 15th. Get tickets this Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South offers volume discounts for homeowners. The more you buy, the more you save. Our discounts start at the fourth window, and from there, the savings grow. New South can do this because we own our factory, and that's the power of Factory Direct. Visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Let's talk real risks and real safety for a sec. Right now, banks are juggling debts under the radar. Commercial properties, cars, credit cards they're owed on. It's a bit much, right? Makes you think about the big 08 crash, but there's a smoother way to handle your finances. I've turned to gold and silver. Traditional? Sure. Reliable? Absolutely. Not just shiny objects. Some stability in these uncertain times. Interested in exploring this path? Noble Gold Investments can guide you. They know their stuff about price. Precious metals for IRAs and 401ks. And here's a little nudge. A quarter ounce gold standard coin free with a qualifying account only this month. Invest with the folks at Noble Gold Investments. Claim your free gold coin and secure your family's financial future. Just use the promo code GOLD. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. noblegoldinvestments.com. Best performance may not be indicative of future results. Investing in precious metals, including gold, involves risks. Consult with your tax attorney or financial professional before making an investment decision. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzzball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank, National Association, member FDIC. Are your energy costs through the roof? FAS Windows and Doors is now offering buy three, get one free windows on any project. This is a plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. FAS also offers 24-month financing. No money down, no payments, and no interest for 24 months with this new financing option available from FAS. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS Windows and Doors today or visit us online at FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. Tools Ace Hardware carries the best brands in grills from Weber, Big Green Egg, Trigger, and Napoleon. They also have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney. And make sure everyone has a place to sit with outdoor furniture from Pollywood. And now they have a service technician specializing in grills to help with any repair or warranty issues. Get free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, $3.99 and up. It's Tools Ace, 13 convenient locations in Central Florida, including their new store in Hamlin, just open. Or you can shop online at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless 
we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 call Mo. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorneys. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Why are you dressed like a hockey goalie in our living room? Well, you know how I said that we really needed to save more? So you're dressed like a goalie because you make saves? Yes. Maybe we should just go to Navy Federal Credit Union. They have tons of great savings and investment options, like share certificates with sky-high rates. Oh, what a save! (sighs) Grow your finances with the official military appreciation partner of the NHL, Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Savings products insured by NCUA. Investment products are not insured, not obligations of Navy Federal and may lose value. Love podcasts? Pull out your phone right now. Open the free iHeartRadio app and check out these podcasts. History on trial. Only 30 minutes to put her body in the well. Dateline NBC. The first big clue in the mystery. Mission Implausible. The means to keep down what was then called the third world. Listen today on the iHeartRadio app. More than just the best radio, it's your favorite podcasts too. And best of all, it's absolutely free. iHeartRadio. This hour of programming is brought to you by My Home Builders Network. Need new windows? Then you need Mike and his team at HBNUSA.com. This is why YouTube was created at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. Mazel tov. Ross, now you have to think about circumcision. <laughs> right, Chewy? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Good job, kid. <laughs> He's not wrong. That's the irritating part. (laughs) Don't you understand? That's the irritating part. 18-year-old dog Chewy just chimed in, too. All right, right. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show here on Real Radio. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And Jack. And Ross. It's true. And my Advil's wearing off. Oh, boo. Tooth pain? Yeah, but I got a nine o'clock tomorrow morning, and I don't know what's going to happen. It, it's been it's been a fun two days. <laughs> been a fun two days. So I've been eating Advil because I don't take I don't take the well, we, uh, the painkiller thing. I don't take them. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, I don't like the way they make me feel. So I have to take just OTC uh, painkillers. And Deb has been giving me Advils like crazy, and I had two at the oh, house. Oh, it's just two today, two yesterday. Yeah, but I took two before I came in this morning too. So I'm going to take these real quick. Mm. There you go. Drug up. Jesus, dude, it's it's a, what a pain in the ass, man. Jim CVS Colbert. <laughs> Jesus, I don't even take those very often. I don't take. I don't, I, I don't like taking pills. Um, but uh, this tooth pain is, is not not any fun. It's like going up behind my eye. Yeah, I, and I, like I, down I, my throat and in my jaw and everywhere. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I know. By the way, if anybody has uh, any parenting advice for Ross for a boy, you're welcome to call in four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. Yeah. Um, so interestingly, um, concerns. Uh, I mean, yeah, or, 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 or like for you, you understand. I have a job here, right? I mean, you get this. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, right. Where part are you of, going? Where part you... of the fam. Yeah. Where? What is your job? Yeah, you understand what I I represent to you, right? Yeah, you understand that. Yeah, like I'm gonna make this kid awful. <laughs> okay, you understand that, right? Like I am going to buy this kid guns. <laughs> I am going to take this kid on motorcycle rides. No helmet. Uh, this kid and I are going to go to. We're gonna go to trampoline stores, and we don't care about the rules. None of this. I'm going to spoil this child out of his mind. He's going to have a nicer car than anybody in the family by the time he's 11. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to make this kid. We are going to spoil this child completely and utterly rotten. How, uh, first of all. By the way, how, what size Versace onesie do you want? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but real fast, I have to at least bring this up, too. One of my favorite parts throughout this whole, like, early pregnancy, couple months in, was people guessing what it was. And let me tell you. I'm not lying when I say roughly 85% of the people are like, oh, you, girl. <laughs> You're going to have a girl. 
You, you, what you, what no you, chance. What you should have done, you should have taken offense if it was pitched like that. Yeah. Oh, it was a lot of times like, ah, I'm just going off a girl. Definitely girl vibes. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, look, look at you, both of you. Both yeah. of you guys are girls. So. <laughs> yeah. oh, but, uh, so, but one of my favorite things was like, well, is she eating spicy food or sweets? Oh, yeah. Like, I love loved- all the all the old wives' tales yeah. about it. Yeah. I loved all of those. Hey, is she sleeping on her left or her right? <laughs> hey, when you guys like make out, who sweats more? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> funny. What? <laughs> did you guys have a little contest? Like, did, what did most people in the family get a natural feel for? Girl, it was that, Every, like, everybody thought it was going to be a girl. Hey, when I say 85%, I'm talking about everybody. Everybody. Yeah. We got to call her, though. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. Don't worry about that, man. We're talking about it. And Olivia needs to get ready for people, you know, when she really starts to show. Having those randos walk up and just put their belly. hands on her belly. Yeah. I Don't could, do that, people. Do not do that. Don't do that. That's 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 pretty gauche. Do not do that. I would don't yeah. take but one thing, her, you should be touching anybody without their permission anyway, much less a pregnant woman. But make sure I can Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You get dibs. All right, good. I've kissed Someone bump. Like, have you kissed bump? I've kissed bump. Yeah, have you, you sang kiss. to the bump? I did sing a little bit to the bump. Yeah? Did yeah. it make Olivia cry or laugh? Uh, we've been laughing throughout this entire thing yeah. whenever we're not crying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that, I didn't mean to be that honest. Yeah. Well, no, but did you but, guys experience that when you, your, you know, your first baby being born, did you go through these same emotions that Ross is? I know for Jack, that'd be asking him to unlock compartments. Oh, no, right. no, 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 no. Don't open those doors. Yeah. <laughs> Over, uh, the one thing that was just overwhelming, especially when you, when you come home. But that, do you remember those early days, yeah, like what of course. he's going through? Yeah, of course, all of that. I mean, you remember it like it was yesterday. It's a very, you know, it's obviously a very important time in your life, and those are things like etched into your memory, and, uh, right. all of that stuff. But, I mean, when you when you load that child into your car, oh. and, you, and I'm going to tell you the one thing that's going to be a little odd for you. If I, it happened like me. I've heard that's the scariest part. The, the thing that happened to me, and I, I don't know about Jack, but the thing that was the weirdest for the doctor legit, you know, because uh, the ex was still in a wheelchair, Right, mm-hmm. the doc, the doctor, legit, put the my baby in the car seat, handed her to me, and we had a nurse pushing the uh, pushing my ex in the wheelchair, and it was just like, here you go, and that was it. We got pushed to the car, we got in our car, and we went home. There was no package. There's no goodie bag. There's no none of that. I mean, not. Right, I mean, right, right. A, a little advice. They tell you what to feed it and stuff. But for the most part, you go home. Not a pamphlet. And, and you have a child, and it is on you from that moment on. And I'm, the drive home didn't hit me. None of that hit me. You're like, okay, this just feels kind of natural. But, buddy, when you crack that door for the first time and you walk through the, the, the doorway of your home with your child for the first time, it's a little overwhelming because you realize at that point you will never, ever cross that threshold again the same. Yeah. It'll never be the same. That threshold has changed. Your house has changed. It's different now. All the rules inside are different. No more buddies hanging out. Yeah. No more friends staying around. No, no more, more ashtrays left about. No more renting out that room back yeah, there. None more of that. That's that's all done now. Those, you have a child in the house. It's different. Those dogs eating your weed and stuff, that that was a lesson you're supposed to learn <laughs> yeah. about how to put things away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, buddy, and, buddy, listen, you're going to go through your house. I can help you out with this. I mean, not that you'll need it. I'm sure you'll have a lot of people willing to help, but you will need to baby-proof your house. Yeah. And you need to do that, especially with a boy. Look, man, they're, when they start walking, when they start walking, it's a little terrifying at first. So I've been told, I remember hearing this adage that uh, boys break stuff, girls break you. Yes. Like like a guy will, like a little, like your eight-year-old boy will break your physical object that you've always kept really close to your heart. But that eight-year-old girl will be like, mm, I think you should make more money. Yeah. You're like, God. <laughs> Oh, who told you that? <laughs> yeah, man, it's. Just, I think you should lose a little bit more weight. You're a, eight, and the, you know what thing you're you're not going to have to deal with that you should be very thankful for that you don't even know about yet. Oh God, you, what is it? You have no idea about this, but I'm going to tell you straight up: you're not going to have to deal with in laws. Yeah, that, that are intrusive. You're not going to have to deal with that. You're not going to have to deal with you know asking your in law not to do something with your kid if you don't want it to be done. You know, you're not going to have to negotiate. 
You have a very cool mother-in-law who kind of, who really understands the goal, and you're not going to have to worry about somebody continuously, you know, intruding into your life. To quote my mother-in-law, she is very excited to be a glam Oh, yeah. She, uh, she has given herself that title, and I am here to respect it. I like that, the glam That's the glam Yeah, that's nice. Uh, too, too many... Too many things, man, when it comes to just that, seeing that little video, there, that little 1080p video, just open up a gift with blue balloons and it says, boy, uh, I, I, I really am obsessed with fantasizing about, I, I want, I already want to know the relationship between my son and Olivia, my wife, because I know that's a thing, right? Yeah, Mama's yeah. boy, daddy's oh, yeah. girl. Yeah, boy, you remember how true is that? Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, you, you'll. So I had girls. So, um, and when I adopted my son, he was already like nine or ten. So mm-hmm. I didn't get that whole, you know, growing up through thing. Just my my daughters. Um, my daughters gravitated to mom first, and then me. Yeah, and then now I have a very good relationship with the guys. Um, and I find that that's kind of across the board. The, the, the child's going to bond with your mom first, and then you'll form a relationship after the fact. Is there any... I w- I've wondered this. Hypothetical situation. Everyone's playing a card in this one, on this one. So, Deb, I need you, because you're here, too. <laughs> I, you have an eight-year-old child. Do you always still kind of want to be perceived not only as cool... But do, do you want your kid to be like, dude, my, my mom and dad are pretty cool? I think at 8, you still are cool. It's the 11, 12, 13. Oh, there's no chance. You're no, there's no chance. That's yeah. when they listen to their friends more. And that's when Rabbi Shmuel, shalom in the home. All right. Best lesson. Don't be your child's friend. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. Your child so- is going to have a ton of friends that are going to change from elementary to middle school to high school. They're only going to get you and Olivia to be the bad cops. Like, did you... So, I'm not saying, like, just be cool. That's, uh, like... Did you get... Uh, did you like it, Jim, being on air? And I would think that your kids definitely perceived that career as, like... I mean, that's kind of cool. Okay, so... Or maybe they didn't because they were your kids. Yeah, for one thing, you know, you got to remember, I-, I built a wall at the radio station, and we don't really live my job at home. There's no memorabilia of what I do at home. There's no indication. If you didn't go in my studio, you would not know what I did. So we don't really... We didn't talk about my job uh, at home very much, and we didn't revel in it. One of the issues I did have is somebody else in my family uh, let our kids listen to the show. Mm. Uh, at a young age, and we had to kind of we had to snap that off a little bit. Uh, a couple times, to ask, "Hey, look, you can't let my you know four and five year old listen to me, you know, call people names on the air because I was not that guy at home. You know, I was playing a playing a character on the radio where a super mean guy who yells at people and calls everybody names get home, and I'm play daddy. I'm you know I'm I'm play dad. So not I'm not appropriate content. Yeah, not that kind of guy. So what I the but I can fast forward in that relationship and let you know the one thing that not disappointing. Because you know it's a, a natural progression, and you have to understand that is, is when your kids hit that maybe 11, 12 age, you know, they're going to start forming friends, and you are going to be pushed to the back burner. Yeah. You just don't take it personally because it's a natural progression, and it actually may happen faster. Don't let your kids have a phone too soon. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't let your kid have a phone. You can do the pad thing, but that's only when you give it to them to, to do something fun. But don't don't make that part of their life. Yeah. It, and that's the thing, whether it's the cat that the w- woman was talking about, getting it early or with your child. Just set the rule from the beginning, and that will be their norm. It's later, you know, giving it to them and then realize, oh, we probably should start reducing the screen time. Start from the beginning. Uh, yeah. yeah. If they're getting a phone, it's coming with Snake. And it's not yeah. touch screen. I'll give you, and I'll give you the other advice. Now you're not going to pay attention. You're not going to have to deal with this until later down the road. But man, you got to manage their friends. Yeah, it is the hardest. I gotta, it's one of the hardest things to do because there are certain friends, and it's not even their friends that you can have. You may have a problem with. It's maybe their parents. So you know you'll you'll get you'll get a guy or a kid that's a real fun kid, and they come over and hang out, and then they're like, "Hey, you should come over to my house." And then you meet their parents. You're like, "There's no way my kid's going near that house." You got a neck scab. Yeah, you got it. Whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're itchy. So it's really weird. You have to be hyper cognizant of who your children are around and I'm who a, they're influenced by at all times. I feel like I'm already paranoid about that. I, I, I've said this plenty of times on air. One of my 
uh, objectively true statements that I think th- that I've heard is that we're creatures of our surroundings. If you have bad friends, you're probably going to ca- get caught up in whatever activities yeah. that is. Yeah, guy that we used to know around here used to have a thing that said, uh, if you show me your friends, I'll show you your future. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, but that's later down the road. The baby stuff is going to be so enamoring at first. You know, feeding, it's going to be tiresome. I mean, you'll, you'll be exhausted. She's going to be exhausted. There's going to be very little sleep. But don't let that don't let that get you down when you hear those stories. People kind of exaggerate that to kind of have some fun with you as a new parent. So what happens is in, in about six months or so, when the kid's cognizant, sitting up, you know, kind of making faces, man, from that point on, it's the most magical time. My favorite time with my kids was up until they were about seven or eight years old. That was my favorite time of their life. And, and, and if you're listening, it still is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and just to, like to go back though, because I'm, I I don't think I asked the question. Like, it, the stereotype of having a kid is that it's a dream killer. That's one of the reasons why at 25 I was like, I'm not doing that. I don't, I'm not doing that. And then I got a little bit older, and then I asked myself, let's stop thinking about the next three years and ask ourselves what we want in when you're in your 70s or 80s. Mm-hmm. And that's how I got to this point mm-hmm. and also getting married and whatnot. Yeah. But do you, what's the percentage of halting yourself to sacrifice for the little one? Is it, all, is it all of it? It's all of it. And for me, it was like, I'll give you an example. At one point in my life, I thought I was going to be doing what you did. Mm-hmm. You're doing stand up. That's like, I, I, I did it. I tried it real early in my life and I had a knack for it. And the number one knack I had is I wasn't afraid to be on stage. Right. And I know that seems weird now because I've said I'm going to do it, but I haven't done it. But it really isn't a priority to me now. Back then, I really wanted to do it. And I and I hit pretty hard real quick. I was like, wow, man, I, I think writing these jokes, knowing how to deliver them and only practicing a little bit and then doing it once just as a, a show thing at a live thing just to add on value to the ticket cost. But I, but I did well. And I was like, well, I could do that. I thought I could do that. And I chose not to even pursue it because my dream always was to raise a family not to be doing any of this stuff. It wasn't like I was just going to have a job. My dream was to have a family. You know, nobody in my family, like, had one that kind of stick together, had the dream of, you know, the white picket fence, the two kids, the whole nine yards. Yeah. Like, that was my dream dream. So I never even thought about my career going much further after I had uh, my daughters because they were the number one goal. And I did work hard that entire time, but I never went out of bounds to do something, and I never considered it a dream killer either. Not once ever did I consider my kids that. Because I know that's... Uh, but I can see how that could happen. Uh, that's, I don't know if you guys have heard that term when yeah. it comes to babies. Sure. I, I know I've heard that term too many times yeah. uh, ever since I turned 18. Yeah, man. I mean, it, it, you know, I mean, Jack, you've heard it, obviously, right? Yep. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I don't believe in it because, I mean, you know, um, your dream was to have a family. You know, one of your dreams was to have a son. Yeah. You, know, you and I have talked. I mean, you know, because of the situation with your pop, you know, you wanted to be able to kind of... You wanted to have not retribution, but you wanted to kind of you wanted to make that right for your family. You know, you wanted to make yeah. that right for your name, kind of thing. You know, I man, there's so many reasons yeah, why yeah. it's hard to pinpoint exactly one, but uh, I I know I would have had a different response. And honestly, I, this is going to sound weird, but I probably would have had a more uh, more positive experience finding out the gender of my kid if it was a daughter because of my dad. So seeing that word son legit for like the second time in my mm. life really felt I I'm lack of a word. It shot something out of me. It triggered something. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I just don't think that gets spurned if it says girl. This is going to this kid is going to have a very interesting personality. I know that for a fact. You it know, is going to have a strain. Look, you have some interesting, unique ex- like your your brother. Right? Is a unique cat. You are a unique cat. Your wife is a unique woman. And it's a it's and it, you are all three different people, dude. It is your your kid is gonna have a plethora of input I, and and uh, and influence from your family. Do you guys look at it as a crapshoot? A little bit of a crapshoot? I look at it like nature, that's a nature. crapshoot. Well, not nature, a little nature, a little nurture, sure. I guess that is the same conversation, but there's there's still, at the end of the day, there's that controlled, slightly controlled chaos. Mm-hmm. We're t- you're talking about, you know, DNA and what yeah. that churns out that's currently being created right now. 
Yeah, but you know, it's mostly environment, boss. I'm going to tell you straight up. You hear a lot of these things. I mean, the outliers, there are outliers. You yeah. hear about their, oh, there's people that grow up in great families. They turned out to be terrible people. Yeah, that's an outlier, buddy. Most people who grow up in nurturing families wind up to be nurturing people who are very productive and positive and continue that on through their legacy and lifetime as well. Most of the time, that's what happens. Well, I, I crapshoot in the sense of not necessarily being a good human being or a bad human being, but... Are they into books? Do they like movies? You, no clue. Do they like golf? You're, you're, Do they like piano? No input on that. that you, I mean, you can influence it a little bit, like, but you can't. Well, I mean, I, I, I begged my son to play golf with me. He wrestled. <laughs> and now he's playing golf with me, but I begged him to it. And he was great at it, but he wanted to wrestle. And now you want to wrestle. <laughs> right, exactly. But it, it, it's giving them exposure to all of these different things and allowing them to try because the kid that never has the opportunity right. to see a piano or play a piano is most probably not going to be yeah. a piano player. Yeah, it's don't a, don't let them talk about boundaries a whole lot. That's I mean, I mean that's the thing. Is the boundaries is a, is one of those things you want you want the kids to understand that you know they they can really kind of do and accomplish what they want and put their mind to. And I know that sounds very hacked and cliched, but it is one thousand percent true. I'm super afraid of hearing uh, two words for my future son. Uh, get out. I quit. Oh yeah yeah. I don't. I that was a big moment in my childhood where my mom went. You're not going to quit. Yeah. Well, that's what you do then. Just yeah. pass that on. That's exactly. But but there's yeah. all but there's also a hey, balance. Son, we, don't, we don't quit. There's a balance of that though. If you go ahead, you know, you try to give them as many opportunities as they want, right? Mm -hmm. So you keep showing them different things. I quit. Well, then the parent walks in and goes, "You're not quitting. You're staying here." Well, then that steps on that maybe no. other opportunity of drawing or that perfect balance of. Go and def no. like yeah, no, get, you're not quitting. Yeah. Is yeah, get, so fascinating to yeah, me. Get rid of the word perfect, by the way. Yeah, and you sub you, you you set the expectation. Oh, you want to uh, you know you want to go out for the football team. All right, but you're committing to the season. You know, and then if after the season, then you can you know after the third practice. Oh, I don't want to do this. No. You're doing this for the season. Right. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah, 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 you yeah. got to so, finish this out. You yeah, start being finish, finish that out, and at that point. That's when you reassess. Right, right, right. That's a good balance. There you go. You, you want to take piano lessons? All right, you're commit. We're going to do this for six months. A after six months, you want to continue? We'll continue. That's right, but don't let them quit. 100% right. 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Load them up for last call. You know what? Screw the joking thing. Just give me one piece of advice for Ross <laughs> as a dad to a son. One piece of advice. Real quick, one sentence, in and out. The stuff that you heard as a kid, the things you used to raise your son. That's it, yeah. We're counting on you, Larson. Don't screw it up. Do not <laughs> screw it up. Mike, your future calling the show depends on this. Got something to say? Oh, my God. Don't look, you son of a bitch. Call now, 407-916-1041. Last call, sponsored by Life Imaging FLA. Now open. Call pound 250, keyword free heart scan. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. I'm Fox 35, Storm Team Meteorologist Ian Cassette with your Central Florida forecast. We're looking at a fair evening here with clouds on the increase tonight. Temperatures will fall to near 64 degrees for Friday morning with some fog possible. Friday afternoon, mostly cloudy skies with a high of 84 degrees and a few showers into the afternoon. Even warmer on Saturday with a high of 88 degrees and breezy winds out of the southwest. Could see a daily record come down. And then we'll have a chance of rain into Sunday morning. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm Meteorologist Ian Cassette. This report is sponsored by Amtrak. No one does spring travel like Amtrak. That's because now more kids ages 2 to 12 ride for 50% off. So not only will you travel comfortably, you'll save too. Book now at Amtrak.com. Restrictions apply. Tools Ace Hardware carries the best brands and grills from Weber, Big Green Egg, Traeger, and Napoleon. These guys also have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney. I love my Uni pizza oven. It cooks a good steak as well. Make sure you have a good place to sit for everybody with outdoor furniture from our friends over at Hollywood. Indestructible, beautiful, will not fade. They have service techs as well, specializing in grills to help with any repair or warranty issue as well. Get free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, three ninety nine and up. It's Tools Ace Hardware, 13 convenient locations here in Central Florida, including their brand new store in Hamlin, just open, or you can shop online at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local Local helpful place. Steve Kramer here with a divorce tip. Inheritance isn't a marital asset unless you handle the money wrong or your divorce wrong. Then you can lose it to your ex. Call Trendley and Kramer, TK Law. We do divorce. One firm for life dot com. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we're conquering the unconquerable. 
Using artificial intelligence and data, our experts can create a personalized gene roadmap just for you, customizing your cancer treatment, giving your body exactly what it needs to fight the disease. We're making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In office Orlando. Hey, everyone. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single line 1, 5, and 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 2024. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. One in three women and one in six men will experience domestic and sexual violence, but you can help raise awareness and funds to support survivors and stop abuse before it starts. Sign up today for the annual No More Week 5K. It's simple to do. Run, walk, bike, swim, take your dog for a stroll, any step or movement counts anytime between March 3rd and 9th. And no matter where you live, you'll be part of a global team making a difference together. Go to nomore.org forward slash 5K now to sign up. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110 level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. There's only one place to watch this nonsense. At Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Uh, Last call is full. We'll get to you guys here in one second. Thanks for calling. We appreciate that as we do every single day. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And Jack. Yo. And Ross as well. It's true. All right, let's do it. It's time for You Heard It Here First on the Jim Colbert Show. Yeah, this gives us a chance to uh, tell you some of the stories that broke while we were on the air and didn't have a chance to cover during Woke News. Some of these are later stories. Actually, all of them are. So kicking it off with Sweden is now an official NATO member nation. Really? The country's prime minister visited Washington, D.C. today to present the formal documentation for its admission in a ceremony with Secretary of State Antony Blinken. During the ceremony, Blinken said, quote, everything changed, end quote, after Russia's invasion of Ukraine and said the Swedes realized Putin might not stop there. That's right. Sweden and Finland joining NATO is the biggest expansion of that alliance in decades. The NATO headquarters in Brussels is expected to fly the Swedish flag on Monday. Think they had cake? 
Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> a little bit. Another sad note out of the world of Hollywood. Yesterday, we covered a guitarist for the Steely Dan passing away. and uh, today, Piano player with piano Steely player. Dan. Yeah. Sorry about that. Today, it's 60s crooner Steve Lawrence, who's died at the age of 88. Yeah, Edie and, Edie and Steve. Yeah, for those who don't know, Lawrence, one half of the popular duo Steve and Edie, or Eddie, and a Brooklyn native, died at his home in Los Angeles. According to a spokesperson for the family, the cause of death was complications from Alzheimer's disease. Now, Lawrence leaves behind a son, David Lawrence, who composed a score for High School Musical. Oh, cool. So Steve and Edie, they were Vegas staples, yeah. but also uh, you could see Steve Lawrence on the Carol Burnett show yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, did yeah. The, he did the whole, uh, you dirty rat. Yeah. <laughs> he would put stuff in his, uh, like the old gangster thing. He right. was a very funny guy, by the yeah. way. The cotton balls and the cheeks oh, kind yeah. of thing, the Marlon Brando trick yeah. from Godfather. All right, a couple of uh, crazy stories. One's just Florida. Um, a Florida woman reported missing on Wednesday was located unharmed. That's the good news. Just good before news. noon today, inside a shipping container. Oh, Ooh. my God. 52-year-old Marlene Lopez was last seen on Monday at her home. A co-worker raised concerns when she failed to pick up her son, triggering police to check on her well-being. So detectives with the Cocoa Police Department launched an investigation, searching known locations, interviewing family members, even issuing a, mission, a missing person bulletin. Lopez said she was locked inside a shipping container behind a business in Co Coco. She'd been banging on the door until someone heard her and unlocked it. Circumstances leading to her confinement are currently under investigation. <laughs> Lopez says she did not know how she ended up. In the container. Oh my wow. God! Are you? This is. Oh yeah. They told the wrong news story. Yeah, they really breaking <laughs> news. <laughs> Woman learned how to teleport. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then you know we talked wow. about uh, the dangerous weather during this past football season, and this goes to show you why when the NFL or the stadium or whatever says you might want to watch this game at home, this is why. Those that suffered frostbite in Kansas City in January may need amputations. Ooh. Grossman oh, Burn Center medical director Dr. Megan Garcia said 70% of people who got frostbite in the below zero temperatures are now being told to schedule amputation procedures. RG3 was right. Bye bye fingers, Man bye bye toes. Yeah, many of those were fans who attended the playoff game between, think of fans who wouldn't be used to that kind of weather, the Miami Dolphins. Probably yeah, yeah. a lot of them did not know how to properly dress. Uh, and Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium. For a reminder, the temperature was negative four at kickoff with a wind chill of negative 27 degrees. Garcia said she thinks the number of amputations will be between 10 and 20. Yeah, the coldest uh, game in Kansas City Chiefs history. Don't know if it was because of the cold weather, but it's the only football game where I saw a NFL helmet shatter. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Patrick Mahomes', Mahomes helmet yeah. shattered. Yeah, there you go. Wow. All right. Good job. And there you know, you heard it here first right. on the Jim Colbert Show. All right. Let's uh, find out who we have to thank today, Deborah. Well, we want to thank Danny Meyering with Orlando Date Night Guide. You can get her segment under the goods at jimcolbertlive.com if you need some date night ideas. Also want to thank personal injury attorney uh, Glenn Klausman of Klausman Law. And last but never least, Sam Bowen and Candace Rich for running our YouTube chat. Thanks. We appreciate it, guys. Jack, question of the day. Are you going to watch the State of the Union tonight? 50% say yes. How about only 31% yeah. say yes? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Ross? Stand up at the end of the month, March 30th. I'm going to be out in Ocala at the Marion Theater. You can get tickets off my website, rosscomedy.com. Good job, buddy. There we go. Let's get to last call here. Dan, last call. Let your wife raise and or take care of her baby boy that she's going to, and you worry about raising the man that he's going to be. The Whoa. dad you wish you had, the husband you wish you could ever be. There you go, dude. Good oh, job. Wow. Put that on a napkin that, and I've, sell it. I got the tattoo guy putting it on my thigh right now. Yeah, that was big. Oh, that's sexy. Glory, last call. Thanks, Jack. Glory, last call. Glory. Sorry. Prince of the Island, last call. Hey, Ross, yeah. I'm going to tell you something. My son turns uh, 16 tomorrow. Happy birthday, Tristan. But I'm going to tell you, the first eight years, he's going to be all mommy's boy. Don't worry about it. Don't get jealous about it, even though when you look at him at times. But trust me, he's going to come back to you. And the thing is, you have to teach him. Watch the frames. 
it's the friends that are the issues. That's right. Especially their mom. He's right, buddy. Them out. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it, Prince. He's right. The friends Tinted are Tinted and unclean. Angry Eric, last call. Oh, man. Ross, so many things I'd like to talk to you about. But uh, time, first of all, you got about four or five years when they're young. Enjoy it. Don't underestimate the power of a box compared to an expensive toy. Read to your kid every day. And, Ross, you want to know why I'm so angry? Why? Because, son of a bitch, I'm a dad and I love it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll catch up soon, Eric. Mike, take us home. Last call. Uh, Jim swerved and I'm returning. Swerve. Mike Fuzzer <laughs> Larson here. Ross. Yeah. I suggest this. When your son asks where the Great Plains are located, do you know how I want you to answer? No. How? At the Great Airports. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate that very much. You write that down. All right, will do. I'll give you a sec. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got it? Yep. All right, very good. Let's get the hell out of here. Airport. Uh, big show coming up tomorrow. Primetime Kitchen, Fias Cara will have a perfect cigar for you for Embers Only. Candace Rich will tell us how to get rich with Rich Tips. And we're talking to a warden of Coleman Prison. Buddy, I cannot wait for that. This yeah. is going to be awesome. That's all coming up tomorrow on the Jim Colbert Show. Follow us at jimcolbertlive.com. Check us out on all of our social media pages. On behalf of Deb, Jack, and Ross, I am Jim. We follow the news junkie. They follow the monsters in the morning. And for us, it's Tom and Dan with the corporate time and our friends from Real Laughs. We'll see you tomorrow at 3 for more of the Jim Colbert Show. Until then, have yourself a fantastic Thursday evening. Bye. I don't think so. A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan is coming up next on Real Radio 104.1. Slowdowns continue on I-4 this afternoon, east and westbound by the major...